What is going on, WXOU listeners? This is your sports director, Harjan Butar here. I apologize to disrupt the schedule programming, but we are having a testing problem here at the live studio. So we are going to take the next few minutes to conduct some tests. As a result, the station is going to go quiet for the next three to four minutes, and then we will resume the schedule programming. Thank you for sticking with us, ladies and gentlemen. You're currently listening to 88.3 FM WXOU. Hello, everyone, and thank you for tuning in to 88.3 FM WXOU, your home for Oakland Grizzly sports. We are coming to you live here from the O Arena in beautiful Auburn Hills, Michigan, for a D1 men's college basketball matchup between our Oakland Golden Grizzlies and Milwaukee Panthers. I am Gavin Smolowski, your play-by-play for the day, and to my right is my color guy, Jacob Vorosky, Rostick. Jacob, what can you tell us about these two teams today? These two teams are coming off big wins here in the Horizon League play. Oakland just came off of a road trip down in Ohio. They just came from Youngstown State. They won 88-81. Same thing from, from Milwaukee. They were home against Wright State, and they won 91-83. So these are two teams coming off big wins in the Horizon League. Uh, Milwaukee has won their last three games all at home against RMU, U Chattanooga, and like I said, Wright State, 91-83. Oakland, their last five games, they were at Eastern Michigan the 8th of December. They won 77-63. They were at Michigan State down in East Lansing, 79-62. It's always a hard team with the Izzo, the Izzo you know, run program. And then they were at Dayton, which is always a tough opponent in the AAC, 91-67. And then they played at Cleveland State to open up Horizon League play. And they lost that 75 to 67. But like I just mentioned, they were down in Ohio again at Youngstown State, which is always a good team in the Horizon League. And they won 88 to 81. So these are two good, two teams coming off big wins in the Horizon League play. So it should be a very interesting matchup here tonight. Yes, Oakland, as you said, had a rough last couple of weeks. You know, three straight losses, but entering Horizon League play in their second Horizon League game, they were able to break that streak against a tough, offensively-minded Youngstown State team in Ohio. The Gwyns are known for their high-powered offense. They're currently fourth in the Horizon League. They finished as first in the Horizon League during the season last year. So going to Ohio, breaking the losing streak is a fantastic spot for Oakland to be in. They're currently sitting at 2-2 two and, a two and two in the conference. That's good for seventh. But this Milwaukee team, Milwaukee Panthers, are currently 2-1 and one in the conference. They sit at fifth. So it's two spots ahead of Oakland. So this is going to be an important game for both teams. Milwaukee trying to maintain that, you know, couple spot lead ahead of Oakland, and the Grizzlies trying to fight the way back into it. For sure. So Milwaukee on the night, they are currently seven and seven overall, and two and one in the conference. As we said, they are looking to increase their win streak, despite having Milwaukee. They, they have a high offense, but one of their biggest struggles is defending on offense. The uh, Defending the shooting. The shooting percentages, both from the three and from the field as a whole, are higher for Milwaukee's opponents. So the Grizzlies are going to try to take advantage of that. They're going to get shots off Oakland. We know not a super high-powered three-point team, you know, overall, like over the years, but... I think they've got a lot of a, a big spark recently this year, especially coming from guys like Blake Lampin. You know, Blake Lampin is the trusty number one guy when it comes to shooting threes here at Oakland. He's fantastic. He lets it five and three. But I think Jack Golke, another guy, uh, he, he gives he gives a different kind of shooting presence out there. Like you mentioned, Blake Lampin uh, had a great game last game at Youngstown State. He had a high season high twenty six points in the win, um, and Trey Townsend had a good amount of points there. So as we look to get started here in a minute. It's going to be very interesting to see how um, Oakland attacks Milwaukee's core as they have been giving up big numbers to some questionable teams so far. Like I'm going to say here, like they lost to a D2 team in Minnesota, St. Thomas, Minnesota, lost 75-71. to They had to play at Colorado, who was ranked at the time. Colorado, good team in the Pac-12. It's worth 106 points on them. That's yes, a lot so, of points. Yeah, Milwaukee has their weaknesses, so Oakland's going to try to attack those today. As for our starting laps today, the Milwaukee Panthers are starting Elijah Jamison, Kentrell Poulian, Eric Pratt, Langston Wilson, and Darius Duffy. As for Oakland Golden Grizzlies, they're starting the new core of Isaiah Jones and DK, DQ Cole. Blake Lampin will be out there. Chris Conroy and Trey Townsend, the original three uh, returners for the Grizzlies this year. They had a big impact last year on the team, and they're going to look to continue their strength through their unity uh, today and throughout the rest of the Horizon League this year. 
team leaders at the moment. Trey Townsend leading in all three major statistical tag categories for the Grizzlies. Currently 16 points per game, seven and a half boards, and 3.3 dimes per game. As for Milwaukee's end, they got 20 points per game coming from Freeman, but Freeman has only played seven games so far, so statistically he's not the leader in points per game. That belongs to Eric Pratt, who's sitting at 12.3 points per game. As for rebounding, Darius Duffy, the forward, comes in strong with 4.8. And to the assist leader, Kentrell Pullian, only 0.1 assists more per game than Elijah Jameson. So those two guards are kind of the dishers when it comes to running the offense up top. And they're going to try to have an impact today against that high uh, second off, second def or first defense, three-point defense that we've seen from Oakland. Eric Pratt for Milwaukee has had a good year so far, after 12.3 points per game. Like you said, B.J. Freeman with 20 points per game, only in seven games played so far. And he's, be coming off the, he's going to be coming off the bench today, so it'll be interesting what he um, adds to this Milwaukee offense. Tip off on the way here in Auburn Hills. Grizzlies and the Milwaukee Panthers going head-to-head -head here in an NCAA Division I men's college basketball matchup. Tip on the way between Duffy and... Conway, the ball goes the way of the Panthers. It's handed off to Elijah Jamison. Jamison, one of the two guards on this high-powered offense for the Panthers. It's tossed over to Pullian. Pullian back over to Jamison. Jamison drives, pops from the key, just off target, rebounded by Conway. That was just off the mark right there. Had a good shot, good lane, but missed that, missed that shot right there. Conway hands it off to Cole. Cole on top of the key. Cole looking for something. High screen set by Jones. Cole back over to Townsend. Townsend on top of the three-point line. Looks for something. Tosses it inside, but there's a foul. Offensive foul against Conway. Ball going the way of the Panthers. I think he just threw that ball out of bounds or just might have lost it. Was looking for a pass and just was not there. Ball maybe deflected. My view was a little obscured by Greg Campbell, who's already livid so far this game. Ball back to Jamison. Jamison looking for a hole. Attacking Jones. Back now. Over back to Jamison, back to Pullian. These two send it a back and forth. Pullian with the step back, tosses it down low to Wilson. Wilson with Townsend at his back, down into the paint. Cuts inside, tosses that up in an easy left-handed hook for two points for the or for Milwaukee. It was a tough shot right there as Trey Townsend was right on him. Uh, able to find the hole right there, get the shot right over his head. Saw a little bit of a too small uh, celebration <laughs> there for Milwaukee, trying to get the fans uh, a little riled up to begin this game. Ball up top to Lampin, swings it. Jones. Jones is picked up by Pratt. Tosses it back over to Conway. Conway up top to Townsend. Townsend drives in, shoulders, tosses up with the right hook. Off target, gets his own board, puts it back up, and that one's off target, but there's a foul on the play. You know Trey Townsend was trying to look for some almost vengeance right there after that uh, too small gesture, but drew the foul there, and it looks like he's shooting two free throws here. Yes, personal foul there on Milwaukee. It'll go on number eight, Pratt. Two, uh, two free throws on the way for Trey Townsend. First free throw, off target, just off target. Free throws win games there. Those will come back to bite you in the end there. Uh, you got to make your shots count. Trey, uh, usually a pretty good shooter from the free throw line, around 75% of the year. The O's are up in the student section, and that second free throw is good. Score 2-1 to one with 18-31 left to go in the first half. Ball up top in the hands of Jamison. Off to Poulian. Poulian back up to the logo. Swings it all the way. Hand off back to Jamison. He stands up. Tosses it over to the wing. Back up to Jamison. Jamison looks for something. Over to Poulian. Poulian deep from three. Let's it fly. That shot's off target. Rebounded by Townsend. A good rebound there by Trey Townsend right there. Blake Lampin swings it over. Jump shot up from Jones. That one's off target. Off the hands of Conway, and it's rebounded by the Panthers. That's a bad miss right there by Jones. Pratt back over to Pullian. Pullian on the dribble, slices through the lane, up off the glass for an easy two. And that was just a good, hard, driven lamp right there by Milwaukee. Lampman up top. High screen on the way from Cole. He takes it all the way to the lane, but it's stripped. Ball knocked away, stays in the hands of Oakland. Blake ends up with it again and knocks down a corner three. Beautiful shot there from Blake Lampin. And that was just a deep three right there by Lampin. A good shot. Going to keep that hitting all night. Lampin showing the hustle. Got the ball stripped on the drive, but still got the ball back in his possession and got in his spot in the corner and knocked down the three. Score 4-4 four, four now. Tied evenly at the arena.
a little bit of discussions between here with the referees as Milwaukee looks to send some substitutions and Fields coming in the game. And that three-point shot, that was deep in the corner. That's a hard shot to make, so Lamb may be able to make that shot there. Um, definitely was happy about that. He's definitely want to see if he can keep hitting those all night long now. The lethal offensive threat. Freeman also checks in the game for Milwaukee. Ball into Fields. Looks to hand it off to Freeman. Freeman picked up by Blake and Townsend double teamed up by the logo. Tosses over to Pratt. Pratt swing. Jamison open from the corner. That shot is on target. And it'll be called as a lone, as a, it was a foul on the play. Looks like a lot of confusion it seems here, but the foul will go on offense. It'll go on the Panthers. That's, Illegal screen. That's a, that was very confusing. I yes. was not sure if you were going to be shooting a three two points there for the, or the one point shot for the four point play, but it was a illegal screen by Milwaukee. A little bit confusing one on right now. I think it I was uh, not sure. The Grizzlies bench. I mean, I thought uh, Campy looked upset like he didn't get his play. Yeah, but for sure. It was an illegal screen on the Panthers, so the ball goes back to the Grizzlies. Lampin drives on Jamison, puts it on the floor, back up to Cole, up top on the key. Cole back to the basket, attacking the Panthers' interior defense. Ball looks and it's stripped away. Transition offense here from the Panthers. Layup is up and good from Duffy. That was just a weak, um, sloppy pass by Cole there. And uh, Milwaukee was just able to drive down the lane, drive down the back, the other side of the court and score. Duffy gets his fourth points of the game. Cole slices to the rim, ball loose. A lot of sloppy play here so far from Oakland. Lampman open from deep, lets that one fly off the front of the rim. Rebounded by the Panthers. Panthers pressing in transition. Freeman attacking Townsend. Tosses it back out, ball swung. Jamison open again from three. That one's off the front of the rim. Rebounded by Fields though and put up and he draws the foul. Well, this game so far, we're only four minutes into the game here. It's very you know, physical. It's a very physical game so far between these two teams. As Milwaukee shoots two points here for the free throw. Um, it's very physical, very defensive, you know, matchups here right now. Yes, they've been attacking the inside. A couple threes here and there from one knockdown from Lampin and one knockdown from Jamison despite being taken away. Subbing into the game for the Grizzlies are Hunter and Watts taking out Lampman and Cole. As for Milwaukee, they're going to resub Jamison back into the game. He got a quick breather there. Two free throws on the way from Fields. That second one is off target. First one was knocked down. Over in the corner, Rocket Watts with the ball. Rocket looks to throw it low, but the defense is. Shut down there. Ball up top. Conway swings it to Rocket again. At the elbow. Attacking with his right hand. Tosses that one up. Just off target. Off the back of the rim. That just missed the mark there. He was looking to get the floater up and wasn't able to, able to hit the mark. Freeman sends it low. Down into Fields. Fields with his back to the basket. Conway on him. And he beats Conway with the spin move. But rejected by Conway. And the ball ends up back in the hands of Fields for an easy two. And that was a good uh, defensive effort by Conway. Just a better... Offensive effort, just almost lucky because he had, he mm -hmm. denied him, and then he just got the ball right back, put it over him. And that's two points. Good hustle play there for Fields to keep the ball in play. Hunter tosses it into the post. Conway, this is where he works. Hook shot up, but it's a travel called on the play. Those will kill you. You get an easy point, easy layup right there, and just call for the travel. And we're gonna go. We're gonna kick it over to Kayla Snell for a quick discussion on this game. Kayla. What have we seen so far in this matchup? Thanks, guys. Oakland enters this game 2-2 two, two and two in the Horizon League. Tough road wins against Crosstown rival Detroit Mercy and the Horizon League powerhouse Youngstown and State have displayed how good Oakland can be when their shooters are hot. Let's hope Oakland can pick right back up where they left off against the Penguins here at home. But back to you guys. Thank you, Kayla. And thank you for that discussion. Stay tuned to hear Kayla Snell's halftime interview and her second half uh, discussion we will get in the second half of this Grizzlies game today. So, as you said, Jacob, we've seen very physical play so far today. Milwaukee currently leading 9-4 with 15.35 here for this media timeout. And a lot of the points so far have come down low for both teams. Only one three on the night coming from Blake Lampman from deep. But it's been all in the paint, despite the fact that Lampin has the only three. The Grizzlies don't have the lead. They're down by five. Milwaukee attacking the post over and over pushing Conway out of his comfort zone. We've discussed Conway before. He's a fantastic offensive threat. He's a great postman. Kind of got that old school, you know, 80s, 90s post guys. You know, guys like Elijah Wan, maybe even a little Tim Duncan action. 
with the footwork. But on defense, he tends to get caught out of position. We saw him recover very well on that recent block, but he was not able to come back on the second opportunity in the second stunt from Fields. Yeah, like you mentioned, they're shooting 50% right now from field goal. Uh, they have, they've not made a three yet so far, but they are shooting very well down the pay. They're just almost out physically and, you know, out, you know, I would say weight room wise, uh, to put it in layman's terms, down low in the paint. They've just been, you know, out rebounding. Like I said, um, Trey Townsend has a good block there. I mean, and he just got the ball back, put it over the net. So it has been a very physical game so far. Oakland right now is one for three from three point, one from five for field goal. You know, three, three threes attempted so far for the Grizzlies, uh, but there's still a whole lot of game left. We're only five minutes in so far, so we'll see where it takes us. Yes, rebounding, as you said, they're out rebounding. The, the Grizzlies are getting out rebounded right now, and the offensive rebounds tend to tell. You know, second chance points coming on the way from the Panthers. We, we all know, especially you Oakland Grizzlies fans, anyone listening, you guys know the Grizzlies tend to struggle over the years with their rebounding. They've picked it up the past few years. They've gotten some taller guys in the lineup, but that's still something they work on consistently. We've heard Campy talk about it before. Ball back in play to start this second part of the half. And that lob goes up out of bounds on the alley-oop attempt to field by the Panthers. The ball will belong back to the Grizzlies. I was going to be, I was gonna be surprised if he was able to get that in the net because he threw that in traffic. Uh, that's not prime Kobe and Shaq right there. That's, it was close. Hunter with the ball into the post to Townsend. And Townsend dra uh, draws the reach on Duffy. Duffy currently two points on the game along with a defensive rebound, uh, but two personal fouls. He's their big guy in the paint. He's been the one that's kind of shown the muscles as he checks out here. Coming in the game for Milwaukee is number 13, Wilson. In the corner, Hunter with the ball, guarded by Freeman. Throws it over, kind of bounces out, but it's picked up in the post by Townsend. That toss is off target. Rebounded by the Panthers. Another bad shot by the Golden Grizzlies as they look to back on defense. Jamison tosses it over to Wilson. Wilson full swing across to Freeman. Freeman double teamed by Lampin and Trey as they try to take it away. But he's able to split. Toss in the post to Fields. Fields got Golke on his back. Jack Golke. And the foul goes on Hunter for the Grizzlies. He yeah. comes in from behind and gets the foul. That's going to be a reaching foul. Uh, no, no free throws being shot here in an inbound, but that's just a foul you're going to take sometimes as they drive into the paint. Yes, the, it looked like in a way Hunter just trying to kill that possession as the bigger, taller uh, Fields had the guard, Jack Golke, at his back. Ball's tossed into bounds, and the fadeaway is just off target. But a foul on the way on the Grizzlies. Looks like uh, Fields drew the foul there coming up for the rebound. Uh, that floater was interesting. He kind of flew back there like uh, Prime Burke, but was not able to capitalize, but they had the ball right back here. Foul on Conway. Ball sent in. Two fields. Field hands it back off in the corner. That three goes up, but it's off target. Rebounded by Townsend. The Grizzlies on the run. Hunter pressing Pratt. Lampin gets an opening. Sends that up. That's off target as well. Rebounded by the Panthers. That's another missed three by the uh, <laughs> Colton Grizzlies. A lot uh, of transition. That three again is off target for the Panthers. A lot of missed threes in this performance tonight. Hunter off to Townsend. He's got space. He attacks the rim and one bucket in the paint. Good job drawing the foul. They're charging in there uh, by Trey Townsend, getting a very physical matchup there, you know, coming out on top there as he shoots a free throw here. Yeah, Townsend, once he gets a little bit of space, he gets some, uh, he gets some breathing room in his eyes. He takes off, and he attacked Milwaukee there, drawing the foul on Wilson and getting the and one bucket. Score now 9-6 to six here at the blacktop. Lead to Milwaukee with 14-12 left in the first half. Checking in the game is Stewart for the Panthers. Stewart's first appearance tonight along with Murchison. Both those two checking for their first time today. Free throw is good for Townsend and he converts the three-point play. Yeah, if you keep making those, you'll build, you'll build your lead back up to where you were. Uh, free throws, missed free throws will drive any head coach mad, especially Greg Campy. Sent in Pratt. The ball handler picked up by Hunter at half court. Back over to Wilson. Wilson hands it off to Freeman. Ball almost lost. Wilson, or Freeman double teamed. Ball's almost stripped away by Hunter. He keeps it in the, but it's thrown over in the corner. Wide open three pointer there. Knocked down by Pratt. And that was just good ball movement by Milwaukee. They had him there at the half court. The ball stripped and found an open man. 
Goki swings it to Townsend. Townsend attacks the paint again, drops his shoulder, and gets the two. And there's Trey Townsend once again, you know, find the ball, find the net, scoring two more points. Yeah, Townsend missing early, but he's attacking the paint now. Wilson, jump shot from the free throw line. That one's off back iron, rebounded by Hunter. And yeah, open shot that surprised he missed. Townsend tosses back to an open Goki. He can shoot, that's up just off target. But it's rebounded by Barut. That goes up and it's just off target again. Navalurua, also known as Barut here by the Oakland Grizzlies community, grabs that rebound to keep the play alive in his first minutes in the game. And like we said, another, you know, that was another very physical altercation there in the paint. Teams jumping for the ball, diving. Uh, rejection at one point, but now Oakland's got the ball back. You know, that's been the story all night long. Neville Arua's offensive board there triggers Fields to be checked back in for the Panthers to try to compensate for the size differential. Lampin tosses in up top. Neville Arua with the ball, hands it off to Hunter. Play is called. Up top, one-on-one -on -one with Pratt. Crossover, gets him open. Pump fake, tosses it up. That shot is dribbles, and it rolls in. Beautiful jump shot there. That, that could have gone either way. That almost rolled out, but went back in. Good point for the Grizzlies. Pratt. Attacks Hunter, tosses it over to Stewart. Stewart picked up by Hunter again. Hunter manning the defense along the three-point line for the Grizzlies. Over to Pratt again. Pratt from way downtown. That shot is off back iron, rebounded by Townsend. Hunter yep. in transition right off the bat. Throws it down. Neville Arua puts it up for two. Now Oakland's on a scoring drive for their last two. Last four, I should say, in the paint there. Uh, Got to keep it up. Oakland finally gaining the lead, and that ball stripped by Hunter. Takes it away from... Fields, who was not paying attention, and that's in. Gets the crowd fired up here at the Blacktop. Score 15 to 11 with 12:26. Timeout on the way from Milwaukee. Good, you know, drive open layup right there by Hunter. Just able to find the steal, find his way for the easy layup down the court. Uh, he's fired up right now, so he's gonna make the team very happy to see yes. that. Both teams on edge here. A little bit, <laughs> look like a little bit of chatter between. And I can see the uh, the Oakland Golden Grizzly over there <laughs> calling the uh, the Panthers too small. I saw a little bit. <laughs> yeah, Grizz will do that. Grizz. Grizz will do that. Yeah, he's known for that stuff. The crowd very alive here today. Uh, you know, school just getting back in here at Oakland. You know, first day on campus for a lot of people. Classes are today and. I think a lot of students are here to watch some Golden Grizzlies basketball. Crowd is absolutely packed. There's a good sized crowd here for some, you know, Oakland basketball. It's great to see this. We gotta have more support here for these teams. Um, so it's great to see a lot of people here in the crowd. The student section's filled up. The crowds here, alumni. You know, it's a good night for some basketball. You know, nice Thursday night basketball here in uh, Auburn Hills. Yes, the Grizz gang, uh, the student section here with the Oakland Grizzlies. They tend to have a big impact here at home. Get very loud. Uh, led by uh, WXOU's very own Giovanni Mosheri. He tends to like to run that student section when he's not here on the broadcast. He is over there today. I can see, I can see him fighting the crowd right now. He's an energetic guy and a better person, man. Score an 8 0 run at the moment for the Grizzlies over the last 118. Pretty good uh, scoring that we've seen. Five of seven of the last few goals. Um, as for Milwaukee, they've dropped back after that previous timeout. They are 0-5 right now. They're, they have not made a three yet so far. Still a lot of game to go, but they are 0 for 5 in basketball. 0 for 0 for 5 in three-point shooting right now. Um, their all their points have come in the free throw line once, and then five other times in the field goal for two in the layups and the you know down below. Oakland right now has made one one three, uh, shooting 20 percent there, and they're 66 percent from the line, two for three. So. After that big, you know, steal and drive, so it was really interesting to see what they do here out of the break. Continue the drive. I think if you're camping, you want to stay aggressive. You know, keep doing what makes you successful. Stay in the paint. Stay aggressive. Obviously, if you open shot like uh, Lampman did in the Lampman did in the corner there for the three, to take it. But don't, you know, don't. You can't make your shot. Don't take it. Don't take too much aggressive shot. There's no reason to force, you know. And and I think so far we've just seen very poor shooting percentage. I really don't know how else to. To tell you, Jacob, just not a great shooting percentage from three today. Overall, between the two teams, 10% overall, one in 10. The only three being knocked down by Lampin early in the game. As, as uh, Townsend right now leads the team with six points. Uh, two for five in field goal, no threes, and two for three from the line right now. So we'll see what the bench can do as Campy goes to his bench at times and see what his teammates can help him out with. Yes, Townsend leading all scorers at the moment with six. Hunter also has four for the Grizzlies. All will be inbounded by the Panthers. Freeman with the ball up top. Freeman 
just recently getting in some games, and he's been scoring a lot for the Panthers. We're going to rely on him in this game today. Stewart. Gets the swing up top, tosses it. And that ball's taken away by Townsend in transition. Dunk to get the crowd going. Woo, and that was a good one-handed slam jam right there, man. I'll tell you what, that fires the crowd up a lot. Beautiful read there by Townsend to get the steal and slam. Get the energy back in the building after the timeout. Freeman throws it low to Fields. Fields hands it off. And a poster dunk by Fields as he throws it down. Oh, my. That was a Grizzlies. big slam. What a play there. Down low, thrown in the corner. And that's just off target. Gulki tries to keep it alive, but it's taken away by the Grizzlies and foul in transition by the uh, the Grizzlies. And that was called on Rocket Watts there for some some sort of moving foul. Um, I don't say both teams are playing with some intensity right now. Both yes. trying to, you know, get the lead, showing that they're not backing down from each other. Yeah, sorry, that was, that was Murchison on the last play. Caught off guard there, the Grizzlies. Uh, Townsend with a nice steal and slam, but right on the other end with two defenders draped on him. Murchison goes up and hammers it home over the Grizzlies' interior defense. This ball will be taken out by Pullian. He tosses it in low to Duffy. Duffy back to Jamison. Jamison drives back over to Jamison. He's got the center on him, Nevalura, who cannot defend him. That ball's thrown up, and he's fouled by Conway. Yeah, he was just met by two Grizzlies defenders right there, but Oakland is called for the foul. Yes, very early. Milwaukee looking to get these mix, mix masters up top. As we can see there, Jamison, the you know the speedy guard for the Panthers, looks to get um, Neville Larua on him, you know, the taller center. And, and we've seen it before. Guys like Kyrie Irving take advantage of stuff like that. Get the bigger guy on you, and, and they're going to struggle to stay in front of you. Yeah, definitely but smaller, better footwork. But as he made that first free, free throw right there, we'll see what he does next. Next free throw is good for the Panthers. Score now 17-14 with 11.30 left in the first half. Sorry, 17-15. Grizzlies up by two. Rocket in the corner. Picked up by the Panthers. He goes reverse up and knocks it down. Beautiful play there. Reverse over the towering fields. The Panthers attack on the other end. And good defense by the Grizzlies, but just a powerful attack for Poulian, who puts it in for two. That was just... Amazing to see. He, he had a guy right on him, and he was able to just fall back and put that shot up and went in the net. Sometimes those things happen. That's just a uh, more of a, a you're-too-small moment for Poulian as he just runs through the Oakland defender. In transition again, Poulian over in the corner. Pratt, he drives. Defended by Conway. That shot's off target. And it's rebounded by Pratt and the Panthers, but he steps out of bounds with it. Ball going to the Grizzlies. A lot of fast-paced action right now. A lot of, you know, fast-paced passing right now. Uh... I wouldn't say sloppy by both teams, but they're just trying to find an open mark, and at times they're passing the ball where they can't find it, and they're just trying to find an open shot. But uh, we'll see what gets cleaned up next. Yeah, Milwaukee just in transition consistently in this game, not giving the Grizzlies defense any breathing room. Up top, Watts with the ball. Pratt. That ball's passed down to Cole. Cole returns. He goes up with the left hand, and it's off target. Rebounded by Cole, though. He gets the second chance of effort. Throws that one up, and that one's knocked down. Beautiful play there to keep him alive. Up top for Milwaukee, Jamison. Jamison attacks up off target. Rebounded by Conway. Good defense there by the Grizzlies to stand. Watts. Watts attacks the paint. Hands it off to Lampman. Back to Watts. Watts is picked up by Poulian. With him at his back. Back over to Cole. Cole at the elbow. Back to the net. Swings it to Watts. Watts looks low to Conway. Conway on the block. Quick spin up with the right hand. That shot bounces and it rattles in for two. Score 23-17 with 9.30 to go in the first half. Five point lead for the Grizzlies. Up top, Jamison. Over to Poulian. Poulian is picked up by Cole. All in the corner to Pratt. Pratt with the pump fake. Tosses it up to Fields. Touch pass is deflected out of bounds. And off the hands of Duffy. Ball going to the Grizzlies. Lampman will take the ball out for the Grizzlies. Campy making a call here to Watts to try to get this offense going. Ball into Watts. 
Watts has it up top, picked up by Pratt. Back to Lampman. Lampman staying up near the top of the key, looking for his shot. And he's going to draw the foul on Jamison, reaching. That's going to be foul number five on Milwaukee. Cole will take it. Lampman has the ball, picked up by Jamison. Watts up top, picked up by Pratt. Watts looks for something, goes with the left hand, swings it down low to, Con or for, to Townsend, who throws it up, and it's rebounded by the Panthers. Can't be not happy about that play there. Drive on the way from the Panthers in transition. Pratt with the ball, picked up by Townsend, in the post to Duffy. Duffy with his back to the basket. That's where he likes to play. Back up to Pratt up top. High screen by Duffy. Pratt uses it. Looks to swing it, but he's fouled by Rocket Watts. Checking in the game for the Grizzlies will be Isaiah Jones. Jones checks in. Coming out of the game is Rocket Watts. Duffy looking to take the ball out of bounds for the Panthers as he retreats and they hand the ball to Freeman. Freeman, despite being a 20 point per game scorer in only seven games, he's got zero on the night so far. Oakland shutting him down offensively. Ball swung to Jameson. Jameson is picked up high by Jones. Looking to swing it, tosses it in the corner to Pullian, who's on the move. That three's up and that three's good. Knocked down by the Panthers. That's the first Milwaukee three tonight here. Uh, so that's gonna keep them, the momentum going for Milwaukee. Jones gets the ball from Cole. Jones. Picked up by Jamison. Back over to Townsend. Townsend on top of the key. Looks to cut, but he's shadowed out by the defense. Pump fake there. Open in the corner. Three up for Lampin, and he knocks it down. And that's another deep corner three by Lampin. Uh, Finding his mark there in the hot zone. Yeah, we know that's his spot. He's made that very obvious so far. Jamison up top. Picked up by Lampin. Ball almost taken away by the Grizzlies. Double team up top. Lampin presses. The Panthers, but they break out of it. Duffy has it low. Jameson open for another three. He knocks that one down. Almost off target. He's knocked that down all night. I was expecting that one to drop, Jacob. That almost went in. Could have been close. Jones back up in the post. Conway, and it's swatted by Duffy on a beautiful block attempt. However, he was called for the defensive foul there, so uh, Oakland might be shooting two free throws here as they go to a break. Yeah, foul there does go on Pratt, but despite the fact that it was a foul, you know, Duffy coming along, just making sure the end one is not going to happen <laughs> as he swats it into the student section. And that was a, you know, that's a physical player. <laughs> that's a big swat. That ball went flying. Score 26-19 here in this timeout. Grizzlies up by seven. And with 7.25 left in the first half. Stay tuned on WXOU to hear Kayla Snell's halftime interview. We'll also be here in the second half for some words to discuss on the game so far. Score 26-19 as we said, Jacob. And I, and I know we, we discussed it a lot, but we got to keep touching on the biggest aspect of this, this game so far, which is on the physicality. Both teams coming at you in the paint. We've seen several big-time dunks despite being completely contested, you know. Um, the Panthers been going up for offensive boards. Rebounding numbers. Uh, currently in favor of the Grizzlies. They have 12 overall, as for nine for Milwaukee. So how is physicality going to play uh, a part, especially in like, the rest of this half? Well, they got to you know, keep passing the ball well. They've been, they've been moving the ball well pretty well, but at times they've been passing the ball, and it's been mishaps to open wide open steals on the court for easy open layups for no defenders. Uh, if they keep moving the ball well, that's going to help them out in the end. If they keep drawing fouls like they have been, as they're shooting two for three for the free throw line right now, we keep doing that. That'll help them win, obviously, get the more points on the board, extend their lead as they have a good one right now. They're both at six fouls each as Oakland has made eight of their last ten field goals. So if they keep making their shots and they're staying consistent and they don't take risky shots that they know they can't make, that's what kills you most. So yep. If you take a shot you know in your mind that you can't make and you're just going to throw it up there because you won't have anyone open, yep. stay calm, stay consistent. That's the key right there. Yes, it's been... Uh a uh, decently consistent game for the Grizzlies so far. Two for six from the three, as you said. And it's it's kind of had an impact on the game so far. 7.25 here left in the first half in the media timeout. 
Uh, the breakage in play here. Uh, the Grizz trying to keep the fans into it during this break. Uh, the Panthers, both teams going to be looking to make some, some sort of changes. The Panthers currently down by seven. Oakland, who started out a little slower, have really had uh, a, a strong... They've had a very strong attack here in this, this latter half of the first half. And you know what? This team's like feel almost like a rivalry between these two teams. That they go back and forth. They're not backing down from one of each other. Um, they, they, they're not backing down. They're playing really physical. They're going you know, back and forth. They're making these dunks. They're making these shots. Uh, like we said you know, many times before, they're playing tough, tough, tough defense in the paint. Being physical is showing they're not afraid. So we'll see what they do here you know, coming out of the break as Conway shoots his two free throws. As Conway got fouled in the last play by the Panthers, and Duffy came through with the rejection to make sure the two or the extra two points didn't go down. First free throw is up and off target by Conway, off the front of the rim. You know he he did not look happy about missing that one. Free throw percentage on the night so far from the Grizzlies, they are currently two for four on the night. Second one is up and it's also off target, rebounded by the Panthers. In transition, a, uh, like a shot clock error. Shot clock wasn't running. You need that. You need a uh, shot clock to play a game. Discussion with the ref here. They're going to give the ball back to the Panthers. Up top, Jamison picked up by the Grizzlies. Back over to Poulian. Back to Jamison. Those two guards have been switching the ball back and forth all night. Jamison attacks, picked up by Limpin in the post. That ball's thrown up, and it's knocked down. Jamison with the two. Screamed right in uh, Lampman's face. <laughs> now they're playing some tough defense here, so we see what they do. The high press here has been a bit of an issue for the Grizzlies to break as that pass is almost thrown out of bounds. Kept an acrobatic play to keep it in bounds by Golke. Lampman with the ball up top, picked up by Jamison. In the post to Conway. Conway up and under, but it's knocked over by the bottom of the backboard. But it's rebounded by the Grizzlies and it's put back up and knocked away again. Jones again with his own rebound. Ball, Golke up top, he lets it fly. That one's off target. Bounces around and picked up by Freeman. And that that three-point shot was not close. Freeman attacks. Another attack in the post, and he knocks it down again. And that was just some clean athletic movement right there. Uh, April Finest marked by Freeman. The Euro gets him open. Blake has been getting attacked recently in the post. In transition. Townsend throws it over to Golke. Looks low, disregards it, tosses it back to Townsend. On top of the three-point line, hands it to Lampman. Lampman is picked up high by Jamison. Jamison has been a very high-powered defensive player as well so far in this game. Lampman in, throws it up off target. Rebounded by the Panthers. No, looks like Milwaukee's playing man press right here. They're playing very good, you know, very close contact, you know, defense right now. That three off target by the Panthers. Lampman with the board. Looking for something for the Grizzlies. They've had a bit of a scoring drought here. Back over to Golke. Over, low. Jones with the ball. Isaiah Jones attacks him. Pump fake gets two in the air. Left hand is off target though. But he gets his own board to keep it alive. Out to Goki. Goki back right down low to the block for Townsend. He tosses the fadeaway. Up and it goes. And there he is, the man again, Trey Townsend, making, you know, making the defenders look silly. Just finding the ball, making the shot. Beautiful heavy fadeaway there to knock that down. Ball in the corner. Pratt with the pump fake gets Conway jumping. But Conway comes back for the rejection. Beautiful defense by Chris Conway. Chris Conway keeps playing this, this defense, you know, keeps playing physical like that. They're going to win, win the game by doing that. That's a good read from Conway there. He, uh, he popped on the uh, pump fake, and then uh, a different defender picked him up, but he comes off ball and swats away for his second rejection of the night. The Panthers will take it out of bounds underneath the basket. Ball in the hands of Poulian. Kentrell Poulian looks for something. Tossed in low to Fields, back to Poulian. Poulian is picked up by Jones. Townsend helps on the double team. Swings low. Wilson wide open for a huge dunk for that was the a, Panthers. Another big dunk by Wilson. That's the second of the night. The Grizzlies just caught out of position there on defense low. Hunter with the ball. Attacking Jamison. Tries to throw it out, but it's knocked out of bounds by Freeman. Ball oh. sticks with the Grizzlies. That, was, that could have been coming the other way. Yeah, not a great pass there in camp. He's just not happy with that play. That's been the story all night. You know, I hate to say it, but that has been the story all night with the sloppy passing by uh, Oakland. Yes, five turnovers on the night for the Grizzlies. Three steals for the Panthers. That shows a little, uh, I, think, I think, a little weakness on offense there. 
Townsend has it low, tosses it to Goki, who gets the defender jump and tosses up that board, knocks it down. Beautiful and, shot for Goki. And what a move by Goki just to put the defender on skates for a wide open three. Score 31 25. Lead, six points for the Grizzlies. 4 30 left in the half. That one sent low. Fields tosses it up, an air ball. It's rebounded by Wilson, but that he's fouled there by Jones. Ooh, that was a very physical matchup right there between Conway and Wilson. Uh, he swallowed the ball away, but that's a, often, a defensive foul, mind you. So now Wilson's going to shoot some more free throws here as Milwaukee is three for four from, from the line tonight. Free throws on the way. A lot of discussion between the referee and number 13, Wilson, as he was a little, uh, a little uh, shaken after that play as he was knocked down hard. First free throw goes in. Be point number five on the night for Langston Wilson. Four, 31, 26. Student section trying to have an impact from the other side of the floor. Wilson's second free throw with the left hand is up and good. Grizzlies will take it. Lampman comes across half court. Freeman on him. Lampman with the ball. Up top, keeping it in for himself. High screen, he uses it from Golke. Lampman hands it to Townsend. Puts it behind the back, keeps his dribble alive. Swings it to Hunter. Hunter back into Townsend. Townsend with the fake, gets low. And it's blocked by Jamison. That was just swatted by Jamison. Sending the ball into Grizz there. As Grizz is not happy about that. I wouldn't be happy about that ball being swatted into my face either. But uh, who's going to get the ball here? as they go into break. So, been a physical matchup between these two teams. Yes, another great block there despite Jameson being one of the smaller players on the, on the floor. Score 31-27 here at the arena with four minutes to go. We're gonna take a quick break during this media timeout and we'll be back with you shortly. As always, thank you for tuning in to 88.3 FM WXOU, your home for Oakland Grizzlies Sports. Hello everyone and thank you for tuning in to 88.3 FM WXOU, your home for Oakland Grizzlies Sports. Possession resumes here with a steal by the Panthers and a handoff in transition for a big dunk by Fields. Hey, the man. Panthers have two more. We've seen that all night long, the sloppy passing, and that led to a big dunk by Milwaukee. Campy, not happy, a little profanity there. Um, uh, he was not happy with that play. Dulke cuts across the middle, hands it off to Townsend. Townsend has some space. Spin move, and he drops the shoulder, but it's a blocking foul called on Fields. That was uh, that could have gone either way. For both teams, but it was a blocking foul as you know, Trey Townsend's getting our shot here for shooting two um, at the at the line. Two on the way from Trey Townsend. So we'll see what Trey does here at the line as he gets ready to shoot two, going in his motions after that blocking foul by Oakland. Uh, Trey makes the first one as now Oakland is. Three for five from the line, three for six for the line tonight, shooting a 45%. Let's we'll see what he does here for the second one. Second free throw on the way from Townsend, and he knocks that one down as well, answering his two or his misses he had earlier. On the way, Jamison for the Panthers. He's picked up by Hunter at half court, screened by Fields. Jamison looks for it. Oh, drops Lampin with a beautiful crossover. Tosses that one up, but it's off target. Off back iron, rebounded by. The Grizzlies. And that could have been an ESPN top 10 player right there. He dropped him and he just did not make the shot. Nasty crossover, but just off target with the jump shot. Hunter will retreat back to the Golden Grizzlies logo as Campy calls out a play. In low, Fields picks up Townsend. Hands off to Golki. Golki deep from three, off target, but fouled on the play. You probably heard that from the crowd. They went, ooh, as that shot almost went in for a four point play shot right there, but Golki's going to shoot uh, some free throws shoot here. Three here. Good three. Fantastic way, uh, Oakland just not really having the greatest offensive shift this this last little bit of the period, uh, of the half, I should say. But, you know, if you're having trouble knocking shots down, the best way I th uh, a lot of teams go at it is just get some open free shots. And what's better than some free throws? And, uh, to be fair, uh, Milwaukee has not made a f their three, as any three, has not made a single three. Um, the last time they made a three, I thought it was a three, but it was actually in the two-point line, so... To be fair, they've been playing good the defense on that. 0 for 7 on the night as Goki misses the first and knocks down the second. Campy, uh, just 
livid right now. Not happy with the play right now for the Grizzlies. Second or third free throw is knocked down. Two for three is not bad. A yeah, loud slam here uh, right in front of me and Jacob there. If anyone, any of our listeners are wondering who that was, that was Greg Campy. He was not happy with the missed free throw. Pullian has the ball up top, picked up by Hunter at the logo. Over to Freeman. Freeman attacks, triple teamed, hits Pratt, and Ooh. Pratt is knocked over by Neville Arura. That was a blocking foul right there by uh, Oakland. So now Milwaukee's going to shoot two here from the line as they are... You know, above 80% free throw, five for six tonight, um, shooting two. So as he's shaking up on the play, actually Pratt is their leading scorer. So we'll see if he's all right. A little shaken up, but he's going to take a breath there and then shoot his free, free throws. It's been a physical game so far. We've had a lot of bumps here and there, but both teams have stood strong. No injuries, nothing even on of the sorts. Pratt tosses up his first free throw and knocks it down. Free throws on the night, six for seven. Currently for the Panthers, as for the Grizzlies, they're six for ten. Both teams have six knockdown free throws. Milwaukee, though, as you said, Jacob, still 0 for 7 from three. They have not knocked down a single three-pointer tonight. And despite that, they're only down by four as the second one goes down for Pratt. You, you don't have to make three-point shots to win these games. It helps out by making the threes, but like you said, they're only down by four. They've just been dominating that paint really well at times when they're down on offense. Uh, they just got to clean up on defense, letting Oakland, you know, get, get by at times. But they really have been playing good. They've been playing very physical, just not being able to make threes. Yeah, the, the three-pointer, you know, has become a much more common theme over, you know, the past couple decades uh, in both college basketball and the NBA. So I, I think a lot of people see it as if you're not knocking down threes, you're not winning games. But the Panthers are proving that very wrong here today. Hunter up top, picked up by Pullian, swings it to Kolke. Golke down low to Townsend is open and he throws down a two-handed slam, rattling the rim there for two. And that's checking the whole arena right now. That was a good, good dunk right there. Looked like he was going to bring the net down. Beautiful attack there. Freeman slices through the lane, tosses it up over Nevalura, and that's down for two. That was a good shot there by Milwaukee. Hunter running the offense for the Grizzlies. We've seen a lot of him tonight. Currently has... 15 minutes, I'm sorry, nine minutes on the game. Lampman attacks over, down on the block. Fade away by Townsend. That one just off target, air ball. That was an air ball. That can't be, was not a bit about that one. That was just a tough shot. He knew he should make that one. Attack, Freeman tosses up a three. That one's off target. Bounces around, and Gulki looks to grab it, but it lands in the hands of Lampman. Lampman in transition, two on three here for the Grizzlies. Swings it to Gulki. Gulki down low to Townsend. Townsend scored his last bucket along the baseline here. Puts his head down, throws it up, and that one rolls in for two. There's Trent Townsend again right now with 16 points in the night. Townsend absolutely dismantling this defense right now. 16 points on the game for the big man. Freeman slices through, tosses it over to Fields. That shot's off target, rebounded by Wilson. His miss off as well, and that's knocked out of bounds off Townsend. Ball goes to the Panthers. And Milwaukee just got the ball there. That could have gone either way, honestly. Uh, some people not behind, us, behind us are not happy about that, but... Uh, that's going to be Milwaukee ball. Pratt checking back in the game, taking out Stewart. We have 114 left here in the first half. Score 39-33, six-point lead for the Grizzlies. Ball taken out of bounds by the Panthers. Pullian throws it in over to Freeman. Freeman attacks Groot, and that one's on target. Two that was, on the way. That was just some tough jelly right there. That was able to make him <laughs> able to find the ball and get in the net. Yeah, Neville Arua having some tough assignments recently, getting attacked in the paint by the guards. Hunter will take the ball up top. He's picked up by Pratt, hands it off to Townsend. Defense slacking off Townsend as he hands it over to Lampman. Lampman swing to Golke. Down low to Townsend. Townsend with his back to the basket, uses his strength to push Wilson out of the way. Shots off target, but two free throws on the way for Trey Townsend. Yeah, Oakland's been doing that all night. They've been able to draw the fouls down in the paint, in the paint shooting the free throws. That's why they, you know, They've shot 10 free throws compared to Milwaukee's eight. Um, and they've been shooting the ball well at the line, six for 10, 60%, not too bad. Uh, they just got to stay consistent with it. Yes, Townsend struggled at the beginning shooting from the field. Decided, you know what I, um, I'm pretty good at? I'm a pretty strong guy. Let's put it on the floor. And he has attacked the paint here recently. Gets, as soon as he gets his back to the basket, he's going in and at least drawing a foul almost every single attempt. And he has. 
Townsend, six for 11 on the night, 16 points and five total rebounds, along with the lone assist. His second free throw is up and it is good. Free throws on the way, puts the score at 39, 40, 35. Grizzlies lead, ball, swing. Open shot for the Panthers is off target. It's rebounded by Cole. Cole pushes it. One on two in transition. Slows it down. Hands it off to Hunter. Back up top. And a timeout will go the way of Oakland with 24 seconds left in this half. Quick timeout will put the Grizzlies 24.7, I should say, on in the game clock. 24 seconds on the shot clock. So... More than likely, this is going to be the last possession of this half. So, uh, can't be calling in the guys saying, hey, let's get a nice jump shot here. Um, going to look to get something up last second. You know, it's, uh, it's very common um, for teams to try to keep that last shot for themselves, especially with, you know, the difference between the shot and game clock as low as it is. Most definitely, as uh, Oakland's 3-for-8 three from the three-point line tonight, shooting 37%. As we said um, previously, Milwaukee is 0 for 9 at the three-point line. Now, still not found their mark there, so we'll see what Oakland does out of the break. Yeah, the Panthers just looking to break that three-point scoring drought. Just nothing on the night so far, shooting 0%. Shooting percentages overall, it's very common. This is almost exactly in par with what we see uh, for the overall statistics. For the Panthers, they're shooting about 5% less than their opponent. Grizzlies shooting 47%, 41% though for the Panthers. Ball inbounded over to Lampman. Townsend with it, hands it off to Hunter. 16 left. Shot clock running down. 10 to go here in the first half. Score 40-35. Hunter with the ball over to Conway. Conway in the corner. Down low to Townsend. Townsend tosses it up, bounces around and it's just off target and it's rebounded at the end of the first half. Fantastic performance we've seen so far, Jacob in this uh, first half score 40 to 35 as we go into break but a good performance so far and we're going to get a quick interview here with kayla snell she'll have our discussion with our oakland grizzlies coaching staff coach covington Nice to meet you, Coach Clevington. Milwaukee has found creative ways to find open looks in this game. What adjustments are you making to counteract that? I didn't hear your question. I'm sorry, say that again. Milwaukee is, has found creative ways to find open looks in this game. What adjustments are you making to counteract that? I think we've been doing good as far as taking away what they're trying to do. We've uh, we got some steals off shooting pass the lane. We just got to stay to our, uh, our scout report. Once we stay with our scout report, we'll be fine. And how do you plan to counteract that, that mis pass mishaps? Excuse me. Uh, the mishaps on. Yeah, the passing mishaps. On. Uh, we just got to make sure we secure the ball and make sure we uh, make smart plays with it. And what will be the keys to the second half going into it? Play inside out, make some shots, and defend and rebound. Thank you very much. Thank you for your time. And as always, thank you, Kayla Snell, for the beautiful halftime interview here on WXOU. Score, as we said, Oakland leading by five. Score 40-35, and we will be back with you shortly as we send it back to Harge in the studio. As always, thank you for tuning in to 88.3 FM WXOU here in beautiful Auburn Hills, Michigan for some Oakland basketball. Hello, everyone, and thank you for tuning in to 88.3 FM WXOU, your home for Oakland Grizzly sports. We are coming to you live for the second half performance of this Oakland men's basketball game between the Oakland Golden Grizzlies and the Milwaukee Panthers. As is before, I am your color, I am your play-by-play -play guy for today, Gavin Smolowski, and to my right is our color commentator, Jacob Verostic. It's been a fantastic game so far, Jacob. It really and has. We're, we're going to see it's uh, currently lead 40-35 in the Grizzlies' favor. So only a five-point lead going into the last 20. And both teams kind of at a, a cold stint near the end. So both teams going to try to look hot coming out of the, hop, of the locker room. Ball inbounded to Lampin for the Grizzlies to start this half. Lampman attacking Jamison. Gets open for his own three. Puts it up and knocks it down. Beautiful three for 
That's, like a, that's a way to start at the second half right there. Made him made, made a miss and just got the flurry open right there. Lampin knocks down his third three of the night. Three for five on the game. All over to Poulian. Poulian with Lampin on him. Goes over to Pratt. Pratt on the wing. Tosses that one up. And he knocks down a three of his own. That was her first made three of the night, actually, for Milwaukee. Um, so that's good for Pratt. Into Jones. Jones lays it off to the block. Conway. Back to the basket, slips through, and a nice layup to get two more added to his total. He found the lane right there, just made the shot. Conway's had some struggles so far in this game. Only two points in the first half, but he answers almost right away for two more of his own. Jamison over to Pratt, picked up by Golke. Down in the corner to Wilson. Wilson back up top to Pratt. Pratt looks to attack Golke, swings it to Jamison. Panthers moving along the three-point arc. Back up to Poulian. Poulian looking for something. Swings it again, Jamison, all the way in the corner to Pratt, who loses his hand on it but gets it up. That shot's off target, but rebounded by Duffy. The Panthers keep the ball alive. Jamison once again swings it over to Pratt. Pratt beats his defender, Conway. Tosses up the baseline jump shot and knocks it down. That's a good shot right there. Uh, able to find the mark on the floater. Lampman bringing it up for the Grizzlies. Slashing at the Panthers' defense. Loses his handle, keeps it alive. Back over to Jones. Jones looks to start an attack of his own. Goes baseline. Keeps it alive over to Townsend. Townsend at the top of three-point line. He attacks the block. Swings out again. Conway open for the un uncommon three, and that's an air ball. That was, uh, he knew he shouldn't have yeah. shot that three. He just kind of just looked down inside because uh, yeah. that wasn't even close to hitting the mark. Conway, the center for this uh, Grizzlies team, just kind of caught it and a little bit of a hitch in his shot, which, you know, when, when you kind of take that second, it leads a lot of people to believe that you weren't so confident in it. Oh, but the ball sure. stays with the Grizzlies out underneath. Lampman throws it in to Conway. Conway with a smaller guard on him. Swings it over to Lampman. Deep from three. Ooh. That one's in and out. Rebounded by Pratt. And that almost went in. That was a deep three from almost half court. And that missed it to Mark, but that was close. Pratt attacking Jones. Swings it over to Jamison. Jamison down low to Duffy. Tosses it out over to Poulian from way downtown, and he knocks that one down. And that's the second three made tonight for Milwaukee. Now they're shooting above 10% as they're two for 12 from three point. In transition, Townsend just attacks through him, but it's swatted and pinned on the backboard by Wilson. And that looked like it could have been goaltending from Milwaukee, but the ref didn't call that and just called that a swat. That's surprising. Jamison slices it low to Wilson. Wilson goes up and puts it in for two. That was, now that was a right, move by Pullman. Just like that, the game is tied. 45-45 here on the blacktop. Lampin swings it low, and it's, he's down to Conway, who's fouled by Wilson. Wilson with a couple good buckets, got a little antsy there on defense after getting a nice block in the last possession. And he is not happy about that one. Ball taken out of bounds by the Grizzlies. Checking into the game is Fields as he takes out Wilson. Fields, again, one of the, uh, the three big men of this team. Fields, Wilson, and Duffy have had a huge impact inside for the Panthers. Ball inbounded deep to Conway. Hands it to Lampman. Lampman, one-on-one. -on -one. Jamison tosses it to an open Conway down low, and he tosses it in for an easy two. And, uh, since that bucket, they, Oakland did not make any points since for two minutes that kills the scoring drop for Oakland. Jamison over to Fields. On top of the key, Pullian hands it off. Slashing to the lane is Duffy, but that shot's off target, but it's rebounded by Fields, kept alive. Jamison with the pump fake, hands it over. Pullian, and the ball's stripped. Jones takes it in transition. Back to Jones, out wide open to Golke. Three in transition, off target. Rebounded by Jones, he keeps it alive. Lampman open from the same spot. That one's also off target. And it's rebounded by the Panthers. Two straight missed threes, back to back for the same, same possession as, oh. Jones goes in for the steal again, but lands on top of Jamison, and that'll be a foul on Isaiah Jones. That was a, looks like it's a questionable call by the refs here. Campy and the coaching staff wants it to be on Milwaukee, but Oakland's got to get the call here, and the first foul for Jones. OU on the half. Yeah, it looked like he got a hand on it before he fell on top of the defender, but the referees do not agree with what Campy saw. Campy wants an explanation as he bars holders at Jones to the open bench and not happy. It's Campy. Checking in the game for the Grizzlies is Rocket Watts and Freeman in for the Panthers. Freeman attacking both Watts and Lampin. Tosses it over to Duffy. Duffy low, 
out to Pullian, and it's going to be a moving screen, offensive foul on the Panthers, possession Grizzlies. They're, they're, and then now Oakland gets the call as they get the return for the favor after that uh, questionable call, but now they get the ball right back. Here with 16 to go. Ball into Oakland. Stay tuned for Kayla Snell's hit coming up at the next break here on the blacktop. Ball into Conway, in the post, gets his defender jumping and rotates around for an easy layup. And that was a good athletic move by Conway right there. Freeman with the ball, up top picked up by Watts. Watts runs into Fields, the screen, back up to Poulian. Poulian shimmies a little, tries to get some space, but none as he's shut down by Townsend. Ball moving around, still in the hands of the Panthers. Thrown up and away. And that pass was just too high off the mark there. That's gonna put us into a quick media timeout. We're gonna send it over to Kayla Snell real quick for a quick hit of this game. Thanks guys. Rocket has been at the center of a lot of media since arriving here at Oakland. Dating to last year, he has displayed a penchant for taking over games and was voted onto this year's All Cayman Islands Classic Team with an unbelievable game stretch. However, he just hasn't been able to develop that same consistency that a Lord Michigan State to go after him. And as a result, he's been a sixth, seventh, Pin the man coming off the bench. This might be Rocket's last chance to show pro scouts that he can go ball, ball out for Oakland. Back to you guys. Thank you, Kayla. And she hit on a fantastic point there. And, and I think it was something we had even discussed before the game. Um, Rocket Watts, who was this elite player, elite defensive guard in the Cayman Islands, as she said, um, when he played for Michigan State, the reason he got put on Michigan State as a freshman was his elite on-ball defense. But after that year, he transferred to Mississippi State and now is back here in Oakland for his second year. He's just really struggled recently to get going. As, he, as we said, he, he's a common starter in the starting lineup, but Kayla hit it perfectly. He's been a six or seven man recently in these last few games, these last couple of weeks. And he's really going to have to try to change it around if he's going to prove, him being a senior, if he's going to want to prove that he can play at the next level. That is true, as he only has six minutes six minutes tonight. Uh, here in the second half with 15.43 to go. He's got two points, um, only one, sh you know, two field goals, one made and one missed. So, you know, from coming from you know, Michigan State to Mississippi State, now here at o OU, he has been a great player, great athlete, um, but he has not found a mark here. Like uh, Kayla said, you know, great, great, great performance in the Cayman's Classic, but nothing has been, you know, coming to offense production as of late. That's why he's now on the bench, not in the starting lineup, uh, with only six minutes to be played here tonight so far. So it's going to be interesting to see how he responds to this the advers adversity, you know, but it'll be interesting to see. Yes, he's a solid defender, and, and, and the Grizzlies could really use him tonight. Um, as you said, just not a whole lot of threes on the way in the previous half, but right off the bat, clearly a discussion in the locker room by Milwaukee as they come out firing from three. They've already knocked down two this half. They're two for 12 on the night but that doesn't account for the wild mysteries in the first half. This half, they're shooting a lot better, and they're gonna look to change things around. As for the Grizzlies, they're shooting all right from three. I can't really advocate much for them, you know. Four for 13 on the night. They've gotten only one more up, and they've knocked down a few more. So, and, and I think at the moment, that's given the Grizzlies this three-point lead. 15-34 left to go in this first half. Oakland, this, this is an important game for the Grizzlies. They're gonna need to try to capitalize here. Yeah. They're shooting four for, four for 13 for three right now. That's 30 percent. Meanwhile, Milwaukee not doing any better. Two for 12, 16 percent. Uh, most of the you know the production has come from down low by both teams, as OU is 19 for 42 from field goal, 45 percent, and Milwaukee's about the same, 18 for 40 for 45. So it'll be interesting to see what they come here out of this break. Yes, coming out of the timeout, Grizzlies sending out Watts, Goki, Lampman, Townsend, and Conway. On the side of the Panthers, they recent out Pratt, Pullman, Fields, and Davis. And in the corner, Freeman as well. Ball in the hands of the Grizzlies. Lampman loses it for a second, but keeps it alive. Double teamed in the backcourt. And that ball is almost taken away. Clock coming down, it's got to be thrown out. And Conway's open down low. Fakes it and throws it a two hand dunk home. Two points there for the Grizzlies. And he made two men miss right there, and he just. They able to find the dunk. Good job. Ooh, I'll admit, Jacob, it didn't look like they were going to get out of that. High press there for the Panthers. Almost pinned up. That ball stolen by, Con or by Townsend. And he goes up and one bucket to continue the offensive rush here by the Grizzlies. That was 
you know, two points and one more coming here at the line. See if he can capitalize on that. Townsend knocking out his 18th and 19th point of this game. He's going to look to try to get into 20 with this free throw. Score now 53-44. Huge 8-0 run over the last minute and 50 seconds. Four turnovers in the last two minutes for the Panthers. That could be uh, attributed to why we've had a lot of scoring here for the Grizzlies. Free throw to put it at 20, knocks it down. And that's a good three-point play right there. Ten-point lead for Oakland with 15 left to go in this second half. Ball over to Freeman. Freeman pushes through Golke. Ball almost taken away by Rocket. Kept alive. Freeman looking for something. Open in the middle. Davis. Conway goes straight up, and he's knocked down, and the layup goes in. Davis with two for the Panthers. Pinned in the corner on that possession. Rocket's able to throw the ball off the foot of Freeman to keep the ball in the hands of the Grizzlies. And there was nothing you do there. This high, this is not something we've seen so far. We saw a little bit of it in the midway through the first half. But this high pressure um, press, defensive press we've seen, has been hard for Oakland to break. Ball goes in down low to Conway, and he hits the easy baby hook for two more points. And as soon as you said that, he found, he made a move, and he got the shot in. Two possessions straight where uh, the Panthers have pressed, but the Grizzlies have been able to find, find Conway down the court for two. Freeman attacking Rocket. He slips through. Touch pass down to Fields. Ball loose. Golke, Fields grabbing at it. And we have a jump ball call. The ball will go to the Panthers. And now, as Milwaukee hit the arrow, they're going to get the ball back here down the narrow, they're at their own end of the court. Um, so we'll see what play they run here out of the break. Pratt with the inbound. Just tosses over to a wide open field in the corner. And he just kind of throws it up for an easy three. You can do that. That was just, he had nothing to do. I'll throw it up, and he made it. He made it. Feels one of the centers on the team. Not commonly seen shooting threes, but Oakland leaves him a little too wide open. Watts slashes baseline, and the ball stripped away by the Panthers. Possession, Freeman. He throws it off the hands of Golke. Deflected out of bounds. Possession to the Panthers. That was an uh, interesting, you know, possession there. I don't know. What, what that that could have gone either way, to be honest. Yeah, Rocket just looking to try to get something going, and it's taken away, and he's going to be taken out of the game. Him and Hunter both check out, checking in for the Grizzlies will be Cole. Attack, Freeman, as he's double-teamed by Cole and Lampin. Swings into an open Davis on top of the key. That shot's just off target, but it's tipped up and almost tipped in by the Panthers. Offensive rebound on the way from Fields, and he gets the foul. Two free throws on the way for the Panthers. And there it is again. It's been the story all night long here. You know, you know, low down, defensive battles there, trying to get the rebound, and Milwaukee won that possession. Two free throws on the way for Fields. He's had a big impact down low. Eight points on the night. Three for six from the field. One for two from three. Free throw. That shot up, off target. He missed that one. Now he's one for three from the line tonight. Fields also has six boards on the game. He's leading the Milwaukee Panthers offense in rebounds. Second free throw on the way from Fields. That one's up and it knocked down. Score now 56 56 point lead for the Grizzlies. Cole, DQ Cole with the ball picked up by Poulian. Cole looks for something, stands at the Grizzlies logo into the elbow. Trey Townsend with the ball, facing up his man, tosses it to Golke, back to Townsend. Townsend goes baseline, and a big collision there, and down goes Fields. It'll be a defensive foul there on Fields. That'll be the third foul on the Panthers in this quarter. And Fields wanted a push off off at the foul on that one. He's not going to get it as the refs call for Oakland to inbound the ball here. Uh, that was just a, you know, a physical match right there that both... All three players fell down. Lampin hits Cole, open in the corner. That shot's up, and it's good. Knockdown from D.Q. Cole. D.Q. Cole with his first three in the night. Cole, five points on the day as he knocks down his second jump shot. Pratt will take it up top for the Panthers. Goes it in low to Davis. He finds, finds him low. Back to Fields. Fields goes up, and he's fouled by Conway. And Conway was surprised at that call as he put his hands up to try to defend the ball, and he was still called for that foul. Two more free throws on the way. Milwaukee getting to the line in this game. Currently 10 free throw attempts, 8 for 10 from the line. Two more on the way from Fields. 
Fields with his first three of the night. Last time they hit the ball down the court, so we, we'll see if he can make this free throw. Nine points tonight for Fields, along with six rebounds. First free throw up and is clanks off the front of the rim for a miss. And those will kill you in the end. If you miss your free throws like that in a close game such as this one, a lot of time to be had still, but, you know, coach, Milwaukee coach, Bart's not be happy about that. Neville Arula checks in the game for Conway and the Grizzlies. Davis, I'm sorry, Fields with his second free throw. That's up. That's good. Checking in the game is Stuart for Davis on the Panthers end. Duffy comes up to the line as well looking to check in. Townsend beats his man, attacks the rim, finds Goki in the corner. That one up. That one bounces around just off target. It's tipped around by the Grizzlies. Ball still bouncing. Picked up by Fields. Fields gets his seventh quarter of the night. Freeman doubled by Cole and Townsend. He escapes it over to Jamison. Jamison one-on-one -on -one with Lampman. Baseline, or free throw line jump shot goes up and it's good. Ooh, and he uh, just shoved. Wow, that was, uh, <laughs> that was a shovel if I've ever seen one. And now two teams are arguing with each other. A uh, little physical game going on. It's been physical all night as two teams started to argue with each other there. It's been a very physical game all night from these two guys, from these two teams. Uh, foul will be called, I believe, on the floor for the Panthers. But the referees are going to have to go to the monitor to figure out what exactly happened on that play. And Pullian looked like he wasn't happy with the hard foul there. Um, and, you know, he came up and he pushed him. So he wasn't happy about that, but you obviously just can't push a player. You're going to call for the foul. So we'll see what the referees come here after a little discussion here at court. Yeah, the fans. Um, not a, yeah. Yeah, no, the fans not happy about that one, obviously yeah. not. Be push, pushing the player, obviously. Grizz says tee him up over there. He's looking for <laughs> something. Uh, There's going to have to be a discussion here. Not totally sure who was involved under the basket, but regardless of which, there was a, a scruff of some point, and they're going to go to the monitor. Yeah, when uh, he came up with the foul, he had a mean look on his face. He came right up and just, you know, just shoved him. It is what it is. This is basketball. It's a tough sport. Yeah, we're going to actually take a quick break here from the arena. Score 59-51, 12-55 left to go. Grizzlies eight-point lead here on 88.3 FM. WXOU, your home for Oakland Grizzly sports. Hello, everyone, and thank you for checking back into WXOU, your home for Oakland Grizzly Sports here in Auburn Hills, Michigan. We are coming to you back live from the blacktop where we took a quick break after a little bit of a, a skirmish underneath the basket between the Oakland and Milwaukee players. Uh, the referees have been on the monitor and are still having some discussions but seem to be coming to a conclusion on what possibly could have happened. Yeah, it looked like it could be both personal fouls on both Pullian and the Oakland player, so we'll see what's called here. As still discussion is being done here, uh, they got to make sure the call is right and accurate and fair to both teams. Yes, it says as of right now, the, the original call was on Neville Larua at, for just a normal blocking foul on the Poulian drive, but there was a little bit of a, a little bit of shoving, a little chirping underneath the basket, and that resulted in a bit of a bench clear. Not totally, you know, anything we've seen, anything crazy, you know, but everyone got up and had some discussions. So the referees are going to explain to both coaches here what the plan is and how to assess uh, the play. Score 59-53, six-point lead by the Grizzlies at the moment. 12:55 left in the first or in the second half. Uh, this play could be pretty important both ways, either giving Oakland a even further lead and possibly possibly the ball, depending on if it's a technical foul asserted to whoever. Um, or it could be obviously the same sort of advantage for Milwaukee and they could close this lead in a little bit. Yeah, we'll see what happens here. This discussion is still a lot the longer than we were conference expecting. call is still happening here, right? Mm -hmm. At mid court between, between Campy and the uh, referees, you know, obviously giving them their side and telling them what they're gonna do here. So it's still very interesting, still a long term of events as the Milwaukee coach, you know, lets them know his piece. So we'll see what what they, what happens here. It could be a personal foul on both teams, but uh, very interesting. Yeah, the, the student section over there, the Grizz Gang, got a full view of the play underneath. Probably a better view than we had. We spoke to Kayla during the break, and she said she couldn't see much of it either. Uh, it seemed to be kind of a mess underneath. Uh, just a lot of back and forth between both teams. And the ball will come in, and it'll stay. It'll be assessed as a personal foul at the minimum 
on Nebelura. That'll be for the original play call, which was the blocking foul. And it looks to be like there will also be a technical foul assessed to someone on the Grizzlies staff or someone on the Grizzlies team. I'm not totally sure who it was. But one free throw on the way for Pullian, and possession will go back to Milwaukee. That free throw is up and good. Yeah, um, can't be not happy about that call right there. That's interesting how uh, at the call there, and Pullian did not, but as he shoots his second free throw, he's hearing it from the Grizz gang right now. It seems that the second technical foul was assessed to Neville Arua of the Grizzlies team after a bit of a, a shoving match. Actually, they're going to assess, and it just came through. There's going to be an, also a technical, so double technical fouls. A technical foul will also be called on Poulian. So Poulian and Neville Arua will both be assessed with technical fouls. Two free throws, one free throw coming on the way from Milwaukee, and two on the way for the Grizzlies. Golki knocks down the first technical free throw. Second one up, and second one good. Possession will go back to the Panthers after the shoving match that we witnessed underneath the basket. Yeah, that was, uh, it's been a physical game all night long. It's been the story, but we'll see what happens here out of the break after that little shoving match between the two teams. The ball will actually go to the Grizzlies. They switch possessions, so the foul will be taken away. The take foul will be taken off of, or the personal foul will be taken off of Neville Larua, but the technical foul does remain. Oakland with possession. Cole up top, guarded by Jamison. Into the elbow. Townsend hands it off to Golki. Screen set by Townsend. Moving around the three-point line. Ball back into Townsend. He's low on the block with the ball. Tosses up the left-hand hook, and it's off target. Rebounded by Duffy. Hey, he just missed the target right there. Townsend did. Not happy about that at all as he goes back down the court. Freeman slashes through the lane. Spin move. Tosses it up, and that shot's off target. But a foul on the way. Two free throws coming up for the Panthers. And that was a blocking foul right there on Oakland as he shoots two free throws. Can't be... Can't be happy about that one as uh, question McCall there. Now Milwaukee's going to shoot two from the line here. Freeman. Normally a 20 point per game score, but he's been dimmed quite a lot tonight by the Grizzlies defense. He currently only has seven points on the night. Second free throw on the way for Freeman. He knocks that one down. Score 61 57 with 2.25 to go. Lampman with the ball in the backcourt. Picked up by Stewart. Crossing half court. Some movement underneath. Nevalura stays in the game for the Grizzlies. Over. Sliced in. Low post for Townsend. He goes up and he's fouled. Two free throws on the way for Trey. It's a little reaching foul right there for OU uh, by a Milwaukee, mind you. Uh, this game's getting a little physical between the two teams. Some trippy going on between the two two teams, I should say, uh, as Townsend shoots his two free throws here. Oakland is 6% from the line tonight with Townsend shooting his first right now. That one goes down. 21 points on the night for Trey Townsend. Six personal fouls on the moment on Milwaukee in the second half. Five personal fouls on Oakland. So yes, a lot of movement back and forth with, only tw with still 12 minutes to go. We're not even halfway through the second half and we already have five fouls apiece. Second free throw goes down, score 63-57 with 12 minutes remaining. Ball over to Jamison, picked up by Cole, down low, attacking Fields, attacks Nevalero, but it's off target, rebounded by Lampman. He swings it over to Golki, back to Lampman. Lampman over, elbow Townsend. Townsend with a smaller guard on him, pushes through Pullian, goes up with the left hand, that shot's off target, but it's rebounded by Nevalero. But it's stripped away by Poulian. That was just a good defensive effort by the Milwaukee. They had the ball, and they just Oakland gave it right back. Poulian not giving up on that play. Jump shot just off target, and they come flying through his fields on the board, but he fouls Gulki in the process. We're going to go to a quick media time out. Score 63-57. 11-27 left in this first half. We're going to take a quick break here in the O Arena. As I said, score 63-57, six-point lead for the Oakland going in with 11.30 to go. This is 88.3 FM. WXOU, your home for Oakland Grizzly sports. 
Hi there, everyone, and welcome back to 88.3 FM WXU, your home for Oakland Grizzly Sports. The score is currently 63-57 in this men's college basketball matchup between our Oakland Golden Grizzlies and the Milwaukee Panthers. We're going to send it over to Kayla Snell real quick for the quick hit here in the second half. Well, thank you guys. Honestly, it has been an exciting game tonight. Although, to tonight, Oakland coach Greg can't be following the loss to Cleveland State in the first half. In a first half, he called one of the worst Oakland's ever played. He's experimented with, he's experimented with a three-guard starting lineup, and this is where depth is going to start to come into effect. Following the win at Youngstown, Campy has also mentioned playing Tone Hunter proportional minutes. As Tone is the only true point guard on this team, it's going to be an int it's going to be interesting to see how Greg Campy develops chemistry between starters and role players, and how that will impact this Horizon League season. Back to you guys. Thank you, Kayla. And as always, a fantastic hit and a great point for us to discuss. Yes, Hunter has made his appearance in this game. He's been playing pretty well. Uh, Kayla mentioned that he's the only true point guard on this team, and I, I do agree with that. You know, you got guys like Lampman who tend to run the point as well, but Lampman's more of a shooting guard. You know, he's the guy who catches the ball, uh, no dribble, you know, catch and shoot kind of guy. Send that Clay Thompson to, you know, Clay Thompson to someone Steph Curry, whereas the Steph Curry could be more along the lines of Hunter. And Hunter, in his time in this game, he has been manning the offense. He's been running the show. He's been he's been the, the, the ball general of this offense for the Grizzlies when he's been on the floor. Ball inbounded to Blake Lampman. Lampman attacking Stewart. Hands it to Cole. Cole, spin move, back to Lampman. Lampman looking low. Baseline, corner three up, off target, but he's fouled on the jump shot. And Stewart is not happy about that call at all as he's barking to the referee about his grievances about that, but uh, that was a good tough shot by, um, by Lampman trying to draw the foul, I mean, he drew the foul there as we just talked about. He is a true shooter. He is a true shooting guard. Not a point guard for say, but he is a true shooting guard as he has been shooting on a, no, all night long with three for seven coming from three point and with nine points here. Three free throws on the way coming for Lampin. Not happy with the call was Stewart, but Referee looked at the scores table and was incredibly confident where he pointed exactly on the arm where uh, Lampin was hit. First free throw is good. Sorry, is off target, but second free throw is good. 64 57 with 11 to go. Lampin, third free throw of this attempt. He knocks it down. Lampin, 11 points on the night. On the way, Jamison flings it all the way in the corner. Letting it fly is Pullian. That one's off target. Rebounded by Gofi and the Grizzlies. Cole with the ball. He's got Jamison on him. Pullian comes over and tries to help, and the ball is almost stripped. Uh, that was another, that could have been called a foul, as Jamison's pretty not mad, up, not happy about that. He's pretty mad about that for some reason. Um, like we said, that's still 11 minutes to go in the second half, and it's been a tough physical game. It's been a yes. very physical second half so far. You know, 10 minutes gone by in this half, and it's been, you know, a lot of barking but we're back and forth between the two teams. They're the guards of this uh, Panthers team, uh, Poulian and Jamison. Uh, you've heard their names a lot tonight in the scoring column, 12 from Poulian, 8 from Jamison. But not only have we been discussing them due to their play, but... Their aggression has been very important. They have had both maybe smartly aggressive plays on that like that last one, a great possession to try to keep law. Yes, there was a foul called, but either way, a great uh, attempt there from Jamison. But also a little bit of the, the, the scrum we had earlier underneath the basket. Um, that was uh, not totally in the direction of, you know, maybe the smartest play from him, but They've played with the right aggression, I would say, for the majority of this game. And I think that aggression that they play with has sparked this this energy in the well, It really has. Pullian has you know played well tonight with 24 minutes on the court, 12 points, four for five from field from you know inside of paying field goals, two for three, two for three for three pointers, and he's two for two at the line, so he has been playing very well. He has given energy to this Milwaukee offense that has been dormant at times. He's been helping out on defense as well. Um, he's got one rebound and uh, one assist to go along with that. So he's been playing well. Uh, Jameson's got eight points. He's 0 for 3 from the three point, but he's 3 for 10 field goal. He's got 2 for 2 from the line. He's, he's got five assists, which leads, which leads the team right now. Um, so out of the break here, this uh, timeout, 
Um, it's going to be interesting to see what they do here. You know, stay consistent with it. Uh, so we shall see. Oakland going to have to start knocking down some shots. They've missed quite a few in the last two minutes and 40 seconds. They've had no made field goals other than free throws. So it's something that's going to have to change for them. Um, 10 54 to go here in the first half as we sit at this media timeout. Score 65 60 in Oakland's favor. Both teams looking to make a big impact on the Horizon League tonight. Overall, OU sits at a 7 and 8 record with a 2 and 2 conference record. That's good for 7th. And as Milwaukee, they're 7 and 7 overall with 2 and 1 in conference. They're two positions above the Grizzlies. So Oakland with this win would put them a point I would put them a spot ahead. It put them at 3 and 2 and Milwaukee at 2 and 2. So they would actually take the positional lead over Milwaukee. So this is an important game. As for the Panthers, if they're able to get this win, it's just going to press them farther away from Oakland, and it's going to dig, dig Oakland a deeper hole to try to build from coming to the Horizon League tournament. Possession coming in. Ball taken out of bounds by Golke. Jack Golke. The transfer this year for the Grizzlies has made a huge impact from the three. Cole with the ball. Screen used by Townsend. Cole keeps it down. Baseline, Townsend. Back up to Lampin for three. He lets that one fly. Bounces around, but it's off target and it's rebounded by Wilson. Poulian pressing up to Cole. Looking for something. Screen by Freeman. Poulian switches on to Golke. Looking for the mismatch. Back over to Freeman, who's got Cole on him. Double team on the way, Lampin helping out Cole. Freeman beats them both down to the rim, and that ball sent up, but it's knocked out of the hands of Fields on the foul. Looked like another poster on the way from Fields. Uh, he had a, a few good dunks in this game so far, and he was looking to throw that one down on Conway, but Conway, despite the foul, decided that that was not happening. Oakland looking to try to keep the energy here in the building, keep the Grizz game, keep the fans on their here, on their side here on the blacktop. Crowd getting very loud in the student section. Our very own broadcaster, Giovanni Mosheri, getting very loud, sporting the swimmer's cap and swimmer's goggles and the Oakland flag as he gets the fans on their feet. Second free throw on the way for Fields. That one's up and that one's good. Fields. Knocks down that second free throw. Score, 65-62. Watts has the ball, picked up by Poulin at half court. Over to Lampman. Lampman looks for something. Over to Watts. Watts just checks back in this game. Watts goes low to Isaiah Jones. That ball's deflected away, picked up by Golke. But the referee says there was actually a bit of a confusion between the two referees here. One says deflection, one says no deflection. And the ball, they will come to the agreement that the ball was tipped by the Milwaukee defender. So that does not result in an overback violation. And the ball remains with the Grizzlies on the sideline. Yeah, Jameson wanted a review out of that, but he's not going to get it from the Milwaukee head coach as Jones gets the ball here. Ball sent to Jones. Lampin looks for it. Swings it over to Golke. Golke gets open with the step back. Sends that one up and slices it through. Nothing but net for Jack Golke. That was, yeah, that was just a good shot there by Golke with the three. Jamison with the ball, looks to answer. Back to Freeman. Freeman, ball tipped by Lampin, but stays in the possession of Milwaukee. And he beats through all three Oakland defenders and throws it up off the backboard. Look like a self-alley to no one. Back to Lampin in transition. Lampin smokes the layup. Ball in possession of the Grizzlies. And that second attempt goes up, and it's knocked down by Rocket Watts. And that was just a good step back shot by Rocket Watts to make up for the miss by Oakland. So now they're gonna, Milwaukee calls the timeout. Uh, if they've been making their shots. What a, a very entertaining possession is what I'm going to use for that as the ball bounces around. A lot of easy missed layups, but at the end of the day, it comes down as an Oakland two. That two will give them a nine-point lead over Milwaukee. 71-62 with 9.30 to go. Grizz coming out with the get loud sign. He wants the crowd to stay into it. They've had such a big impact recently. And what I said, that's a new Grizz. He did get an update on the mascot a few weeks ago, so he's looking pretty good right now, looking good, looking fit, as he gets the, the crowd into the game now. The crowd's been in the game all night long now, so, you know, it's good to see. Away, the ball will be taken out by the Panthers after their timeout. 
One possession just all over the place. Ball swung over down low. Wilson puts his back into Townsend, and they're going to call a blocking foul there. And uh, Campy was surprised by that, and now they're going to shoot two free throws. Is uh, looks like Milwaukee as some discussion is being made by Campy, asking for some reasoning behind that. It did look like a possible offensive foul there, but the refs stand by themselves, and they decide, nope, that foul was on Trey Townsend. And now Wilson's going to shoot two free throws here. That'll be Trey's first foul of the night. First free throw for Wilson, clanks off the rim, and is off target. Second free throw on the way from Wilson. He's got eight points on the night and five rebounds, along with two blocks. Second free throw is up and is good from the lefty. Yeah, those missed free throws on the end will come back and bite you on that. Townsend into Jones, hands it off to Watts. Watts, one of them with Jamison. Looks to throw him off balance. Watts, crossover, at the elbow, hands it to Jones. Jones, cuts, back to Goki. Goki, back to Jones. Jones looks to go low. Good defense there from Pratt and the Panthers. Lampman gets open for a three, and that one's down. Another three from Lampman. As he, you know, showed all night long, he can make that three point with someone in his face, and he just, just did that. Lampin knocks down his fourth three of the night. Pratt with the ball. Over to Jamison. Back to Pratt. That three goes, and it rattles home. Nice uh, three-pointer there for Milwaukee to get keep themselves in it. Score is 74 and That's uh, Pratt's 66. second three of the night. Uh, or first three of the night, I should say. The leading scorer for overall for the season. As can't be Barca orders to the Oakland defense. Not happy about that. Was he mad at Goki for that? Um, but now it's 73-66 here with 8.39 to go. A lot of stoppage of play here in the second half and a very entertaining matchup between these two teams. This feels like a rivalry at some point during these games. Very, you know, they're, they're fighting for wins here in the Horizon League. The Horizon League is always tough. Every, every year there's a new team here trying to win the conference. You know, Green Bay, IUPU, Purdue-Fort Wayne. You always see, you know, Oakland up there, with NKU and Milwaukee, North, Northern Kentucky last year, went to the NCAA tournament. So it's no surprise here with these, these teams, you know, they're fighting for number one. They want to raise the standing. So we shall see what happens here after this inbound pass. I cannot agree more, Jacob. The maybe a smaller conference, but the Ryzen League always is packed with entertainment, especially here on the blacktop and the Oak, with the Oakland Grizzlies. Watts with Jameis on him, down to the elbow. Townsend creates some separation, throws it off, but it's an air ball, and it's rebounded by Jones. Isaiah Jones picks up his sixth rebound of the night. Keeps it over to Lampin. Lampin in the post, fadeaway jump shot. That one's off target. It's almost rebounded by Jones again, but it's ripped away by Jamison. Good rebounding by uh, OU. Well, I should say Milwaukee has had the ball now. Down low to Fields. Fields swings it to Wilson. Wilson, ball stripped by Jones. In transition, one-on-one. -on -one. Rocket Watts with Jamison, and he goes straight up. But it's great defense there by the Panthers to keep the possession alive. And no calls there by the refs letting the boys play. Pullman swings it over. Jamison all the way in the corner. Pratt, three, up, off target. And it is rebounded by the Panthers. Wilson keeps it alive. And it's a blocking foul called on Townsend, and he is not happy. And half of the stadium right there wanted a traveling call from Milwaukee, as now everyone in the arena here is letting the referees hear that. Referees have been called a good, clean matchup between the two teams here tonight. They've been letting them play, but the crowd won to uh, travel on that, but it was a blocking foul on Townsend as he has his second of the night. As we're going to go to a quick media time out. We're going to take a quick break here from the arena, and we will be back with you shortly here on 88.3. So you, you're home for Oakland Grizzly Sports. Hello, everyone, and thank you for tuning in to 88.3 FM WXOU, your home for Oakland Grizzlies sports. It has been a tight contest here at the Blacktop in beautiful Auburn Hills, Michigan, tonight on a beautiful Thursday night here in January. The score currently sits at 73-66, the seven-point lead for the Grizzlies with 7.44 left in the second half. The second free throw on the way for Wilson, first free throw on the way from Wilson and the Panthers goes down. 
Milwaukee trying to bring this game in, but Oakland just not backing down so far tonight. Second free throw is off target, and there's going to be a foul on the floor on Conway. Ball stays with Milwaukee. Yeah, it was interesting what they call here. Are they maybe holding on that? Uh, Conway, as he takes the foul and comes off the floor here, uh, has pulling it's two more shots here. Just an unfortunate foul there. Uh, personal Oakland is personal the foul, bonus. actually, yes. Oakland's in the bonus, so despite the fact that it was, it was on the floor, um, it's going to result in free throws on the way from Pullian. Pullian's first free throw is up, and it is off target. But it's rebounded by Fields, and he puts it right back up for a two of his own. Well, that could have been called for over the back foul as he quite literally reached over his back and grabbed the ball. But well, guess not. Milwaukee bringing it closer. Four-point lead dwindling now for the Grizzlies. Rocket Watts with the ball guarded by Pullian at the Grizzly logo. He looks to attack. Rocket down low to Townsend, and he is fouled on the block. Free throws on the way for Trey. If the Grizzlies prevail tonight and beat the Milwaukee Panthers, please stay tuned for after the game for a quick player interview between Kayla Snell and Blake Lampman. Trey Townsend will get his first free throw here. He's got 22 points on the night. That one is good. Townsend shooting a lot of free throws tonight, currently nine for 11 from the line. Second one on the way. And that is good. Lead now stretched to six for the Grizzlies. Jamison takes it across half court. He's picked up by Watts. Switches on to Lampin. Jamison with the ball over to Pratt. Over back to Jamison. Down low in the post to Wilson. And he goes chest to chest with Townsend for two. Ooh, and Wilson calls him small again. That was and, the, and an errant pass there as it's just thrown out of bounds by Trey. Turnover on the Grizzlies gives the ball back to Milwaukee. And Milwaukee getting some momentum here as they just got that tough layup by Wilson. And now they get the ball back in their own end. Yeah, just an errant pass. Giovanni Moshiri takes off the goggles to get a second look at that and says, <laughs> did I see that right? Ball inbound to Jamison. Picked up by Rocket. Jamison slices through the lane, takes on the whole Grizzlies Ooh. roster but he's fouled on the layup attempt by Lampin. Now he'll be shooting some free throws here again as Milwaukee has shot 23 free throws tonight. It's shooting 73.9% 73 from the line. Looking to capitalize on these opportunities here by the Oakland. On the way, Jamison puts up his first free throw and knocks it down. Jamison now with nine points on the night, three for 10 from the field and three for three from the free throw line. 24 total free throws taken here by Milwaukee. They're 18 for 24 on the night. Second free throw is down, making that 19 for 25. As for the Grizzlies, they're 16 for 22, shooting 73% from the line. Now it's a two-point game here as Rocket Watts has the ball coming to, to midcourt. Let's we'll see what happens. Looking for something. A bit of a stalemate here for the Grizzlies' offense. And there's a, a foul called on Wilson in the post as Townsend tries to roll off of him. And he's grabbed and pulled back. And that was close to a chokehold, you know. I think they call that in wrestling, you know, a chokehold, a cross-face chicken wing. That was close, but uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> as uh, Trey, a, Trey Townsend. More of a pass interference call, as yeah. it looked like there. Yeah. Uh, a little bit of a legal contact as Trey Townsend will go to the line. You know, if it was the Lions, they wouldn't get that call. Oh, absolutely <laughs> not. Townsend will take his first free throw. First one is up, and it bounces around and rolls in. That'll award him a second one. Milwaukee is currently in the double bonus. Ten total fouls in this half on the Grizzlies. Nine for Milwaukee. They're one foul away from putting Oakland in the double bonus. Second free throw is down for Trey Townsend. Another back, back and back game as it has been all along for Oakland. We'll see what happens here. Jamison cuts through the lane, hands it off to Freeman. Back to Jamison. Looking for something high screen from Fields. He attacks, misses the shot, but gets his own board and puts it right back up. Oh, man, that was a good effort by, there by, uh, by Jamison. He, he's been physical all night long. He's, he's been feeling it. Uh, Jamison tacking on two more and a, and a rebound to go with it. Lampman has Pullian on him. Lampman attacks, gets him bouncing, 
on the pump fake, hands it to Townsend. Townsend along the free throw line, sends it out to Lampin, open for three. That shot's up, and he knocks it down again. <laughs> and that was a great shot by Lampin. He's been feeling the shots all night long. Yes, and Blake Lampin just on fire tonight. Oh, he is, as that's his fifth main three-pointer tonight. He's shooting five from 10 from the three-point line. Yes, 17 points, half his points be coming from that three-ball line. 50% on the night, Blake. We saw a beautiful three-point barrage come from him against Youngstown State, and he's looking to do the same thing tonight. And he is doing that well tonight. He's been shooting very well tonight, like, like you said. He's five from 13, five for 10 from three-point, and two three from the line, so he's got 17 points tonight, trying to get his season high you know, where, where it was at Youngstown State. And he's been playing well tonight, so we'll see what he does out of this break. Yes. Uh, timeout taken there. Just a 30-second one by Oakland to regroup on this defensive possession. Uh, rightfully so by Campy. We've seen a lot of this. You know, Oakland, they hit a few threes. They get all the momentum back here in the blacktop. And then Milwaukee just answers with one of their own to shut everyone down. So maybe just a discussion on defense. Hey, can we hold them this possession? Can we score again to try to give us a scoring streak going? The ball will be sent inbounds to Jamison. Jamison looks for an opening, picked up by Lampin. Shifts it over to Freeman. Swings in the corner, and that ball is deflected out of bounds. Ball stays with the Panthers. Neville Larua knocks that one out of bounds. That was a good effort by him. Ball taken in the corner by Freeman. Takes it in the fields. Back to Jamison. Jamison at the three point line. High screen from fields, not used by Jamison. Over to Poulian. Dropped back to Jamison. A lot of guard, back and forth play here. Jamison looking for something. Poulian with the ball again, attacking Rocket Watts. Drops his shoulder and sends Rocket flying and knocks down the three point to answer. And Poulian with another made three shot. He's been playing physical all night long. Calling the shot and talking physical, talking some action to Lantman now as Rocket Watts takes the ball at mid court. Watts. Attacks with his right hand. That one's up, but he's fouled on the way up as he tumbles to the ground. And that was a hard foul. He went flying there into the uh, advertisement board. Someone might get a handful of Rocket Watts in their lap there. Yeah. Uh, glad to see he's okay up and fast. That was a hard foul. Rocket Watts, four points on the night. No free throws, though, so just looking to try to get to the line. That foul also puts Oakland in the double bonus, so that means two guaranteed free throws for every foul on the floor now for both teams. Both teams are actually in the double bonus right now, so... Like we said, all night long, but very physical game. Rocket Watts with his first free throw. Knocks it down, makes that five of the night for him. Rocket also has an assist as well to go with one rebound. Second free throw on the way from Rocket, trying to put this game uh, at two possessions. That one's up, and it's good. Four-point lead for the Grizzlies. Now he's up to six points tonight with that. Second made free throw. He's good. Perfect from the line tonight. Two for two. Score 82 78 in favor of Oakland. Ball swings in the corner. Three pointer up off target, but it's rebounded by Fields. And Fields goes over the top on Lampman and is called for the offensive foul. And he cannot believe that he is dumbfounded. Fields is. He cannot believe that wasn't called on Lampman. Asking for the call this in disbelief as he walks back to defense. Oakland's going to get, get the ball here for a key possession with about half the game of five minutes ago, five seconds. So we'll see what they do here on a little discussion. Yeah, Fields look, thought he got, got into his double-double of the night with his 10th four, but that one's going to be taken away from him. Lampman will take the free throws for the Grizzlies. And the first one is good. Lampman with 18 points on the night. And he's 15 of the 18 coming from the three-point line. Lampman with his second free throw. And he knocks that one down. I will say, good players make their shots. Even better ones make their free throws. Jamison, picked up by Watts at the three-point line. Swings it low to Fields. All the way into the corner. Poulian, back to Jamison for an open three. That's deep. That one's off the front of the rim, rebounded by Golke. Lampman in transition, slows it down, though. Golke and Trey calling for a slower offensive possession here. 4.45 left in the game with a six-point lead in favor of the Grizzlies. The crowd starting to get on their feet here. Fancy to see the Oakland Grizzlies prevail. Golke, down low to Townsend in the post, and he throws that one up off the glass for an easy two. Oh, and that was a good, clean shot by Townsend. A good athletic movement. And they get the ball back here for Rocket Watts with the ball here. Rocket picks up the ball 
and knocks in the free or knocks in the easy baseline jump shot. He and steals that, it off the inbound. And now Oakland's on a eight nothing here in the last 45 seconds alone as Milwaukee calls a timeout, extending their lead by 10 now. Seems shocking there. All the players just kind of confused on what happened. But as we said earlier in the game, Rocket Watts is an elite defensive player, and he picks he, he picks the ball right out of the hands of the Panthers, and everyone just seems to look around in utter shock as he just kind of tosses up an easy two. And that's why he has eight points now. You know, he's capitalized on those moments where people don't know what they're trying to look for the defensive matchup, trying to draw a play up. He just took the shot right there, and it went right in. Now, like I said, with four minutes and 22 seconds to go, they're up to 10-point lead here, both in the double bonus with Oakland have, having their error on their side of the possession in case anything gets a little tricky in the end. So with Trey Townsend now with 28 points and Lamin right behind him with 19, very better shooting in the second half by both um, last five minutes, I should say by Oakland, and Lamin's been hitting those shots now as they throw the T-shirts over our heads. It's going to be an exciting finish here to this game. Yes, the crowd is getting into it now, and as we're, we're slowly crawling down in this game, I don't think I can describe it better. It's going to be an exciting finish here. Oh, for sure. It's been a very good game so far overall. And uh, these two teams, they, they don't want to lose. We, we, man, we, they don't want to lose. This, there's not many games left. It's January now. You still have a good amount. You, ha you still have to go to at Milwaukee and play. But there is not many room for error here. And it's now January, like I said. You're fighting for a number one spot in that Horizon League just to get in the NCAA tournament at some point. Yes, it's time for Horizon League play here at in Rochester, here in, uh, in the eastern part of the United States. This is... This is the big. This is the Horizon League play. This is where it all comes down to uh, these specific games. Even though yes, they have you know a decent amount of Horizon League games left, they're all important. You're playing all conference opponents pretty much from here on out, unless of course you're in March Madness, which is what this this which is the spot these teams are fighting for. Especially uh, Oakland's last appearance in, in uh, the NCAA tournament was 2014, where they lost in the first round, obviously. But you know, it's like like I mentioned, you want to win these Horizon League games. Non-conference games are one thing. They're hard to win those, especially when you're playing Ohio State and Colorado. But you want to win your games here, especially at home when you have a home court advantage. If you lose one here, you've got to drop one. You go on the road and play the same team again a few weeks later. It's hard to win because now they have the home field advantage. And if they win that game, it's hard for you to come back in those standings. We have a great crowd here tonight. About 3,000 people, I'd say, here at the O Arena. So we'll see what happens here with about four minutes to go and 22 seconds. It'll be interesting, no doubt. Coming out of this timeout, score 88-78. Ten-point lead with 4.22 to go here in the second half. And the crowd is on their feet. They are ready for the rest of this basketball game. A beautiful way to start the, uh, the winter semester here in 2024. Inbound on the way from Milwaukee. Jamison with the ball. Picked up by Watts. In the fields. Fields. Tosses it up. Ball bounces around, but it's just off target, but it's rebounded by Jamison, and he's knocked to the floor, and, I'm sorry, Poulian with the rebound, and it's knocked to the floor by Neville Arua. And that was a push right there. I was on Poulian again, or on Neville, yeah, Poulian, I should say, as he shoots his two free throws here. Been shooting pretty good from the line tonight is uh, Poulian. He's, he's two for three. He's got two shots right here. Yeah, Jones checks back in for Neville Arua. I think everyone, uh, you could maybe say a lot of the arena was holding their breaths there as Nevalura and um, Poulian went down for the second time tonight. Poulian's first free throw is up, and it is good. That's 13 points on, I'm sorry, 16 points on the night from Poulian. Second free throw on the way. Shot is up, and shot is good. Now Oakland gets the, the ball back here. 4-10 to go. Eight-point lead. It's going to get tricky. Ball in the backcourt. Jones with it as he's picked up by the guard pair here in Milwaukee. Or for Milwaukee. Jones. Freeman on him. Looks to hand it to Watts. It's poked up. Watts keeps it in possession. 14 seconds on the shot clock. Looking for something. Hands it to Golke. Back to Watts. Down low in the post to Townsend. Swings to the lamp, and that's his spot from three, and it's off the side of the backboard. That one was just a little bit too high. I thought he was going to make that, to be honest. <laughs> Poulian flies to the rim, and he's fouled on the way up. Two more free throws on the way. Yeah, uh, Golke called for the foul there. Now 
Pullian once again shooting free throws. He's pretty good from the line. He just made his last two, four for five tonight. Pullian been getting to the line, especially a lot recently here. He's been attacking the rim, knowing that these a lot of these Oakland defenders down low are going to bite. First free throw, bounces around, but rattles in. Make that 18 points on the night for Kendrell Pullian as he leads the Panthers in scoring. Second free throws up. Make that 19 for Pullian. Score 88-82. Six point difference in favor of Oakland right now. Jones flies by Freeman. Keeps the ball alive. Watts settles the ball at the logo. Screen on the way from Townsend. Watts rejects it. Looks for Townsend low. Attacks the baseline. Up and under. And one bucket reverse for Watts. Oh my, was that an ever great play by Watts? Driving now, able to throw the ball right over his back into the net. Great athletic play by, by Rocket Watts. An athletic finish for Watts. What a way to get his name in the scoring books here. That'll put him in double, double digits on the night. Watts with 10 points. And this has been one of his better games tonight as he looks to make it a three point play right now. The phenomenal athletic play by Watts. And feeling confident down low. He's been attacking the baseline, he's been attacking the paint the entire game. Watts on the M1 conversion. It's off target, off the heel. Rebounded by Panthers. Jamison attacks again, hands it off to Freeman, and a foul is called on Townsend. Surprise, he kind of uh, almost elbowed or shoulder right in the face, and he was like, surprised, wow, I got hit in the face, and I got a couple of foul for her, but now uh, they're gonna be shooting some free throws here, is Milwaukee. And Milwaukee looking to cut it to six here. It's been very back and forth. A lot of free throws on the way. Still three minutes and ten seconds left in this final half. Freeman knocks down his first free throw. That's nine of the night from him. Checking back in the game is Hunter as he takes out Jones. Hunter looking for a spark of offense. Davis, I'm sorry, Fields comes out of the game for the Panthers. Duffy comes back in. Freeman with his second free throw. That one's off the iron as well. Rebounded by the Grizzlies. He just missed a shot there. Both teams missing some free throws here. And there's going to be a foul to start the possession. And Jones goes down to the free throw line. With Oakland meeting the double bonus now, you definitely don't want to do that if Milwaukee getting the foul immediately with them shooting. With Oakland shooting very good from the free throw line, 75%. Uh, as Cole looks to shoot his two right here. So it'll be interesting to see what they draw up. Cole's got five points on the night, along with two rebounds and a steal. That first one is off target, though. Fields checks back in the game, taking Duffy out. Fields has been much more of an offensive threat down low for Milwaukee, whereas Duffy has been coming in on these defensive possessions. And the second free throw is also off target. That's surprising. Straight two misses from him. Jamison attacking Cole. And that one's blocked, but another foul called here. Uh, the refs are calling a lot of fouls here in the last five minutes of the game. They've been letting them play all night long, and now they're calling these fouls. I don't agree with that at all. I think they should keep letting them play. This has been a physical game all night long. If it's clean, don't call it. Let them play. These pauses and plays, too, they take out one of the, in my opinion, the most important aspects of a basketball game, and that's the home crowd. When the energy leaves the building, and that free throw's off again. Another missed three th free throw. And there's a famous quote around there by Ben Wallace, ball don't lie. I should say Rasheed Wallace, not Ben Wallace. She Wallace say ball don't lie, and he missed that one. Jones and Golke check back in for Cole and Hunter. And Duffy comes back in for the Panthers. Jameson knocks down that free throw. Score, a six-point lead, 90-84 in favor of Oakland. Jones looking to get the ball in and he gets it to Lampin. Lampin on the break, two on one. But he's tracked back and not able to keep the ball alive and it rolls out of bounds, Milwaukee possession. But it's a good job by Pullian. He was running out of the court looking for that steal. He found his moment, swiped it away and Lampin couldn't recover that and he got the ball and now it's Milwaukee possession with three minutes to go. Score, only a six point lead now for Oakland. A two possession game here on the blacktop. Jamison brings it up field with the screen. Elects to keep it. 
Back down low to Fields. Spin move. Drops. Drops Townsend, and they're going to call a blocking foul. And to the free throw line goes Fields. Wow. I Another am, foul. I am, I, I, I am. The crowd is not happy with that. that. I'm, I'm very surprised on that call. As, as the man behind me is shouting, we are not here to watch the referees. And I think the crowd wants the game to play on. Yeah, a lot of, lot of stoppage of play here so far. That now, first free throw's up. Yeah, that's now it's a five-point play, and a lot of these points have come from Milwaukee free throws. Milwaukee free throws, and now Campion right in front of us asking why. Why will you do this to me? Duffy looks to check back in, but the free throw's off target, so he will not, and Fields will remain in for the defensive possession for the Panthers. Rocket has the ball. 2.30 left in this game. Score 90-85, five-point lead for Oakland. Watts wants something. Tosses it over to Golke. Back to Jones. Jones up top. Down to the elbow. Townsend. Defender on his back. He's double teamed. And that leaves Jones or, or leaves, um, Jones open for an easy bucket. Jones wanted that possession really bad. He got it. Cisco's Trey on that one. Fields down low. Feeds it to Freeman, who's open in the paint. He tosses that one up, but it's off target. Rebounded by Golke. Good job there by Golke getting the ball. Swat away from him, right? Now they got the possession right here. Watts and Jones break the press. Wide open jump shot from the elbow, and he takes it, but it's off target. Rebounded by Fields. And Campy is not happy about that. Rock, well, Rocket Watts knew after he shot it that I should not have done that. Campy looking to run the offense here to try to take some time off the clock. That three open in the corner, knocked down by the Panthers. Oh, that's a big three by Milwaukee. Freeman answers. Score 92 88. Four point game, two possession lead here for Oakland. Rocket running the point up top, guarded by Freeman. Freeman has come alive here. He's got 12 points in this game. Hands it to Golke. Swings it over to Jones. Jones up top, and he's fouled. They're going to send Jones to the free throw line. That's good for Oakland to be able to draw that foul there. Uh, now they get some free throws of their own. Here with a minute 15 to go. Yeah, Jones, good possession there from the Grizzlies to drain the clock down to 1.15 now holding the four-point lead. That'll be the 14th foul on Milwaukee, 15 fouls on Oakland. Stewart checks in the game as Jameson checks out with his fifth personal foul of the game. Jameson will be out for the remainder of this contest. Jones, first free throw, is good. Jones looking to try to stretch it to a three-possession game. Perfect. Score 93-88. Second free throw is good. Second free throw is good. Score 94-88. 115 left in this game. On the way, Freeman with the ball. Freeman attacks, slicing through. Fields wide open for the two-handed slam. That's that was, another dunk of the night for him. That's, he's had a few of this tonight. That's a good one as well. It's another bucket on the night. Ball. Grizzlies pinned down low in their backcourt. Rocket takes it himself, cutting through the lane. Tosses it off to Townsend, and Townsend keeps the possession alive. Burning some clock here, the Grizzlies are. Four-point lead, 94-90 with 50 seconds to go. Lampin with the ball, 14 on the shot clock. 45 left in the game. Keeps it, looking to draw a foul. Taking as much time off the clock as they can. Takes the screen from Hunter. Lampin launches it from three, and that's off target. And it's rebounded by the Panthers. And that's a risky three-point play here with 30 seconds to go. Poulian cutting through the defense. Athletic play. What a oh finish. Oh, my. What a finish by Poulian. He's been playing great all night long now. And you, you, you can't... Uh, yeah, you can't do that. It's a two-point game now, 20 seconds to go, and the foul finally comes on Rocket. Wow, that, wow. I, I, I can't say about wow from that Napoleon Jelly right there. He made that look easy. He drove down the, down the lane and, you know, like very fast and just made it, made it happen, man. Took off from the opposite side of the key, goes up and under, and rolls it off the glass for a beautiful two-point finish. 18 seconds left in this game. Scored 94-92, two-point lead with Rocket Watts at the line. 
Rocket is two for three on the night from the free throw line. Ten points on the game. First one is up. And it is good. Rocket looking to try to make this a two possession performance for the Panthers. And these free throws are so, like we said earlier, so very important here down late in the game. Watts has proven his clutch in the past. Second one up. And it is good. And that'll be a timeout by the Panthers. And it's now a two possession game. Four point lead for the Grizzlies with 19 seconds to go. Well, here we go. We talked about all night long. It's going to come down to the end here. And it, it, this, is, this is it, man. 18 seconds to go. No time to waste. No room for error. So we'll see what happens here out of the break. But we've had a great game here in the arena in beautiful Rochester Hills, Michigan. Um, the crowd has definitely got their money, money's worth tonight. These two teams, two top teams in the, in the Horizon League. So coming out here, the timeout, we'll see what um, Milwaukee does. They let the ball run the, down the court. But hey. We shall see. It's going to be a very important game and a very impactful game tonight, not only for the, obviously, you know, the rankings in the Horizon League, but also for the fans here, for the students here at Oakland University who are just coming back and beginning their winter semester. And what a great way to start the night, I mean, or start the semester. I mean, a fantastic ball game for everyone to watch here at the Blacktop. Timeout continuing. With Trey Townsend now at 28 points tonight. Uh, 12 for 14 from the free throw line. 8 for 18 from field goals. No three-pointers. He has played great basketball tonight. He has eight rebounds, four assists. But below him, Lampman, 19, 5 from 15 from field goal, 5 from 12 from three-point, 4, four for 5 from field, free throw, two rebounds, four assists. They have played great basketball tonight. Very little shots missed. So we'll see what they can do on defense here now with Milwaukee getting the ball as, as um, Pullian inbounds it to Freeman. That's yeah, so one of the main scorers that we've seen so far in this game has been Jamison, and he's fouled out of the game for the Panthers, so they're going to have to go without him. Freeman brings the ball up. He gets open, open three, launched by Freeman, and it goes! Oh, and it goes in very well. One-point game here. Can't rush anything, can't force anything as Rocket Watts gets fouled there to shoot some free throws. Rocket going to the line, a one point game. Freeman just left two wide open. We mentioned at the beginning of this game, he's a 20 point per game scorer, and he really hasn't been showing it so far in that first half. But, I, I mean, he, he's proving his scoring ability now, knocking down that three. He's got 15 points on the night. That is truly amazing. Rocket at the line once again, gonna look to try to give the Grizzlies a three point lead. That first free throw is good. And that's, you can feel the tension, the, the, the nervousness and anxiety in this building as he shoots these free throws. Oh boy, here we go. This one's coming down as a nail biter. The O's are up in the student section. Second free throw is up, and it is good. Oakland securing at least a three point lead. It's gonna come down to this. 10 seconds on the way. Freeman with the ball, it's almost stripped. Up to Pullian, he pulls it. That one's off target. Rebounded by the Grizzlies. And they get, and <laughs> Milwaukee gets called for the foul here. So Oldham will shoot two more free uh, shoot two more free throws here. It looks like with 2.3 seconds to go, Milwaukee cannot believe that just happened. He had the wide open look and he missed it. Pullian's been playing great basketball all night tonight. He just he he just missed that. They're gonna have to have a miracle here to win. Jones getting his eighth rebound of the night, and this one is the most important one, as he can stretch this lead out to a two-possession game with 2.3 left on the shot clock, or on the game, I should say. Like I said, this game's gonna come down to free throws, and here we are, to ice the game. He's at the line, so we shall see. Jones only needs to knock down one of these to give them the two-possession lead. First one is up, and it is good. That's a clutch free throw right there. Oakland can't be sending them all back on defense. They're gonna just let, they're just gonna let Milwaukee shoot on this last possession. No reason to foul when they're up by four. Second free throw is up, and it is good. Jones secures the lead for the Grizzlies. That's 100 points on the night. Poulian sends it up, but it is too late, and the Grizzlies take the game. What a game here, Gavin. What a game. What a fantastic way to start this year. Score, 
100 to 95, five point victory for the Grizzlies. A 100 bomb game here on the blacktop. Well, I just can't believe how well they played as a team. They, played, they truly played as a team here tonight in the arena with Trey Townsend with 28 points, Lambin for 19, Watts for 14, women's best games in a long time. Jones for six and Hunter for four. They played truly as a team. And a great match here by Milwaukee as well as they head in the Horizon League play. They both played great games together here uh, for this Horizon League matchup. Yes, the Grizzlies, Coach Campy, looks like he may have uh, popped a blood vessel or two during this game, but they drag out with the win. So regardless of which, they're going to end up with a victory tonight. And please stay tuned for a halftime or a final game interview here from Kayla Snell. Fantastic performance, and what a way, evening Oakland out at, at eight and eight. Interview on the way here from Kayla Snow with Trey Townsend. Thanks, guys. I'm here tonight with Trey Townsend. Trey, hey, what was the key to you guys' victory tonight? It was just staying consistent on defense, rebounding, and then making free throws down the stretch. We knew it was going to be a close game. They're a great team, a great offensive team. We were able to slow them down. Their best player slow them down and make free throws at the end of the game there. Awesome. And how are you guys going to carry this win through the rest of the um, through the rest of the loop? Just focus on that defensive end. That's what our strength is as a team. Green Bay is a really good offensive team again as well. They have a really great player, and we're going to focus on slowing them down as a team and then making those free throws, like I said, down the stretch. And what changed tonight that made this victory possible for you and your team? I think we were just happy to be home. You know, we played 15 or so games, and we've only been home three times. So coming back the new year, playing in front of our crowd, you know, it's a great feeling, and we just got to keep protecting our home and winning games here. So. Well, thank you very much. Congratulations on your win tonight. And again, I've been Kayla Snell, and this has been 88.3 FM WXW Sports, sending it back to the station. Thank you, guys, and thank you, Kayla and Trey, for a fantastic interview throughout the game and hits throughout the game. As always, I'd like to thank all you guys for tuning in to 88.3 FM WXOU, your home for Oakland Grizzly Sports. Good night.